Who feels brave enough to recap whilst I get our materials? Oh fuck yeah, I'm so good at recapping. Can someone just remind me where we ended the session before last session? Do we do the recap? I no, no I wanna- you do it so often, I, I need to take on the torch. Um, so, we started off somewhere. I'm assuming it was a flooded basement. Was it? Alright, never mind. I, 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 I fucking- I would lost everything. <laughs> the only two things I remember is there was a gnome who took a liking so, to me, and there was a mentally ill dude that I just want to drown. So, we, we started- we started the last session in the remnants of a battle where we had killed a whole load of Fists of Bane, but um, some kind of Baal person who one-shot uh, Rupert um, had run off. Um, and although Rupert had healed and we had sort of recovered some uh, stamina, uh, we'd used up stuff, but we went after them and found out we'd missed a secret passage, or secret door, sorry. Um, which led into another part of the dungeon, which we went into. There were some skeletons in a side room, which we fought, and <clears throat> no way did we like miss loads of rolls against them. That, that just doesn't happen with us. Never. Never. We then moved into a large room, which was the uh, water-filled basement-type room, where a large, scarred man was fighting what looked like the uh, guy who had tried to assassinate us, who was a Baal follower, we believed. Um, he fought with two daggers and a cloak, um, and he basically uh, took him down and ran off to the north of the room. Um, Rupert healed him, and he was his name was Mortlock Van Thamper, who Van Thamper is a noble family name, and he said that his mother had betrayed him and sent him here to die. Um, he then eventually wrote down everything that uh, his mother had been up to and she receives payments from the Dead Three cult um, and she wants them to kill people so she can take over sort of like the Patriarch Council or something like that um, and he said uh, Raven Guard is dead or sent to Elturel but Elturel's gone and I've got Favius Krieg is in Elturel I don't know quite that connotation yet um, while he was talking to Rupert, um, Aura, Aura discovered uh, four big chests that were colour-coded in red, black, blue and white. And they seemed to have some kind of like a talent si sign on them. Um, eventually we linked that this might be some link to Tiamat. Um, but they didn't seem to be a link to the Dead Free Assassins. And Mortlock didn't really know why, why they were there. Um, the other two things we learned is that Mortlock's brother, Amaric, who's his mother's favourite, he is a um, loan shark of some kind from in the Lowlands in Tavern. Um, and his older brother, Thirstwell, spies on the city and knows of us through his invisible imps. Um, then we eventually managed to find uh, the leader of the bar. Um, he was in a room with statues of the dead three. And was he was eventually killed by us, but he took down or he's able to like uh, stun people and hurt people really badly. Um, we could never open the Tiamat chests, um, but we found some other items such as a orange coloured liquid, which Q almost drank. Oh, sorry, Jack and almost drank, but. It was pointed out there might be something dangerous, and then it was alchemist fire, so that's a good thing he didn't. Uh, Corby talked to some rats, and then as we left, we decided that we were able to carry all the chests out with us. But getting outside or getting back to the bathhouse, there were quite a lot of different dressed cultists who demanded the um, chests. We already managed to get some kind of payment out of the leader for um, just carrying the chest out, and then we left. We took Mortlock and his signed confession to the gate, Basilisk Gate, where we handed both over to Captain Zodge. Um, <clears throat> and Zodge gave us our reward of 200 gold each, and then told us that we had a week to investigate this more and clear it up before uh, 
the commander came back from Chult. I don't I don't know if we ever got a name. Um, and so we'd better get on with it type thing. Um, but before we'd gone back, we'd stopped off at a uh, smithery or shop where a gnome called Fergal um, was very amenable to Gark and less amenable to Rupert. And um, yeah, I think he gave Gark some kind of uh, like information or contact or something like that. And they managed to also buy buy some stuff. And I think he, he gave Jack and a promise that he wouldn't sell a sword for t two days or something like that, I think. Yep. And then we left it of leaving Zodja at the gate and we were deciding going off somewhere to see... Oh, uh, Zedia, who is Gia's character, is an amnesiac. And there might be a shrine we could go to to see if she needs help, but she's not here today. Yeah. Well, what happens with these sessions is I'm sitting down to dinner, which is fucking hilarious, but yeah. Um, the only thing really missing from that, very comprehensive and easy to follow. Uh, huh. Recap. Ye was the little piece of paper that was given to Ori Ori by Fergal. However, you all, you're all in this city now. It's a nice, beautiful morning, shall we say. It's a, it's morning for certain. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and take a long rest. The only person who hasn't done that is Q, so I'll go ahead and take a long rest for you just now, mate. Uh, check it and a week in D and D is like a ten day, right? Um, you were you were get I gave you the option. She's been given a week to do it, which is technically a ten day. I run it Monday through just Friday because, um, fuck additional math. Um, oh, but I was I was just trying to get a uh, grasp on how much time we really have. Seven days. Starting today is the way okay. I would do it. Um, you were offered to, you know, you could take that week off as you wanted, but you have uh, elected last time, unless you have changed your mind since then, to get on with it as quickly as possible. Uh, I mean, have we changed our minds? Because I'm still on board with just get getting going. Um, I would well, like to talk to Corby, but I think it might be best if I whisper it to Tom. Not quite sure. Um, Cor Corby sort of looks around and goes, I don't want to tell people what to do, but I don't know if going to this, if we go decide to go to the tavern, if it's best to go during the day. These type of things are often more active at night. So we could maybe do some recon. Maybe do some uh, preparation, uh, picking up items and stuff. I don't really have an idea how we might get into any points off towards the upper city. Any place up there if we got there yet. I don't know how to get in there. And we all just got paid for our mission in the crypt, didn't we? Yeah, we have. Well, I spent my first chunk of money on smith tools but yeah we all have roughly 200 to spend uh, should we all just buy stuff to get stronger i mean that's what i that's what i want to do fair enough honestly i wonder what we're really able to buy i guess really anything yeah um, I, I've not added the gold from Farcival's old sheet to Farcival's new sheet. <laughs> Almost doing Farcival out of money. <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Sick. As you were. I mean, I really want that sword. <laughs> yeah, we can go like check around for things. Maybe, like look at different shops and stuff. Yeah, I vote we go to Sorcerer's Sunday Sundries and see what they say. <laughs> sure. Um, 
to we make our way back into this town where we could buy stuff. You never left the city, mate. I know, but like, can I go back to the blacksmith and get that sword? Yep. There is, um, there is what everyone else wants to do as well, so Jackin wants to go and get the sword. Um, yeah, I was wondering, mm -hmm. I don't know if this would be considered downtime, um, looking for a plus one shield. Hmm. You certainly uh, need to find a shop, sorry. Um, certainly find a shop that would potentially deal with that particular bit of magic. Uh, would you like me to uh, make a roll? Uh, you give if, me if you give me a charisma roll, I will no, actually eat you. Okay. History? Okay. Can you remember if there's any such shop in the city? Well, been I've here. never been to one. Uh, so I'd say, given from what you've seen in your old pal Fergal, there's definitely, there's definitely something there. At the rest of the city, however, uh, there was the adventurer guy whose name I don't recall. Um, give me one second. Like, at least... At least fucking like you know. I, I, I moved over to mute. I moved over to mute and thought I had to. I swear, like I was it's, not trying. It's, you know, you're, you're gonna shove the microphone up your ass after you fucking drank a whole liter of milk. I genuinely moved over and hit the thing, and I must have clicked something else. I'm so sorry. All right, let's speed this you're up good. so we can forget about the burp. Do I um, do I find a shop? Yes or no? Just start. Uh, there is Eastway Expeditions, which, as you can recall, is a place that sells second-hand goods from people who found misfortune in Chult. Uh, <clears throat> there's also potential for your good friend, um, you know yeah. his name, Fergal. There we go. There's also potential for your good friend Fergal to be able to hook you up. Um... Is it okay? Because I don't feel like spending a half an hour of roleplay that we can just say right now, do I find a plus one shield and what does it cost? Instead of me going you to three different shops and having ten minutes of poor charisma rolls. I was going to uh, ask you for a charisma and... roll anyway. Sorry? I was going to ask you for a charisma roll anyway. Two, two, two just flat charisma rolls yeah, because, yeah, you know... That's what I thought. Yeah, 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 I no. could have yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Why, why, why break a good thing up? <laughs> You're consistent. What, what do you mean? Oh, like that. Can I, can I just try one more? Just like a third time's charm. Higher DC, but sure. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna. D DC gonna was on the. Myself. DC was already on the floor. Like. DC like 10 for a lead. It's all right. You'll do good. <laughs> Don't worry. Did, I, oh, I have faith. Did you give faith. me inspiration? I ha you do. Yeah, you do. Have I have faith that you'll find something better, however. I do. Like George Michael, I have faith. Can I, can I be my inspiration? You do know that by Xanathar's rules, that rule's mm -hmm. all at disadvantage, so we take the lower numbers, right? Why is it with disadvantage? You're carousing round, and it's a downtime rule. So down downtime's for one week. You're trying to do it in one day. You're okay, running Okay, so round. my inspiration, I have to make another one. So it's still a ten. You find... Oh, oh, why are people messaging me at this time? You find a few weeds in regards to it. Someone somewhere is willing to offer you a shield. Well, is it a plus one shield? That's a pretty important part. <sighs> Magical. Certain. A family heirloom. They do, however, tell you that it was recently stolen. And if you find it, it's yours to keep. Oh my fucking god. 
I know you love it. What is okay. wrong with this city? I know you'll love it. Don't worry, darling. You'll love it. Um. <laughs> Oh, right. it's gonna be risky. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, is my party with me right now in this shop? Like, do they hear the mission or the request? No one said they were following you. No one answered nope. you there and there. So you are I'm, on you your know, own. I'm, a, I'm asking you right now, the others, if anyone was following me. No, probably not. All I mean, right. I was not case. For a sword. I'll, I'll be with you. You'll be with me. I'll be with you. All right. Well, I can take on Jacken. Um, I'm going to return to the rest of the party. Uh, rub his, his masculine, hairy, muscular, veiny little hands together. Emphasis on the masculine. Um, Very effeminate, of course. Uh, I walk up to Corby. We go, uh, boss. Corby's not there. All right, he'll walk up to an imaginary Corby, uh, who <laughs> totally stands in between Fatful and, and Rupert and Jack and... Oh, uh, I got a lead on the mission. Uh, it was given to me by some some lieutenant. I forgot a name, but uh, they're looking for a certain relic stolen by a cult, I think. Uh, they'll pay us fifty gold in order to retrieve it. Fifty gold each. What's the relic? It's uh. Very old shield, actually. I have an image. It's it's a family heirloom. They gave me they gave me a a, a signia <coughs> so that we could recognise it, but they didn't want to give specifics on on the item itself. Wait, Chaka, Chaka was there with me. <laughs> uh, oh fuck off! <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, wow! You're doing great, man. All right, well, hopefully, Jack can uh, you know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why are you in Paladin? We'll roll for prayer. Roll for prayer? No. Or it doesn't pray. Roll for God to, God to save your ass. I don't have that feature yet. Uh, are you rolling against uh, him yeah. at all, Jacken? He rolled, a, he rolled a one, but you know, you could always roll in that one. Is this for insight? Just to... uh, you can insight against them if you wish. Um, you, don't, you don't have to. You don't, you don't have I, to. I'll be honest, I don't really... Jacken doesn't really care enough. He, like, he just... Oh, kind of... Jacken, I love you. I'll, I'll, I'll do something to you one day. Jacken's just fantasizing about this sword and just looking at his gold. Bro's drooling. You're nicer than me. <laughs> yeah. I think Jacken's nicer than everyone here. Um, so, uh, what do I say? 50 gold is something. Might lead us to more cult uh, clues. Does it involve destroying our enemies? Yep. Lots of enemies. I mean. Big and small <laughs> and hairy and... and uh, I don't know. I don't know what enemies. Your mother! Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I'll let you know right now, um, there was a name attached for this. I cannot, however, for the life of me, find the name. Um, I'll make up a name. Uh, it's actually a Patreon name in the city. You better not be Van Thumper. Oh, fuck no. Because no. if it's Van Thumper, you know, fuck the heirloom. I'll just go straight to his house and kill him. Uh, <laughs> you get it. You get this information from... One oh, wait, real quick. Janus. Sorry. Yeah. Real quick. I, I said crushing cultists. I didn't even ask what the mission is. <laughs> I just walked out the store. <laughs> could you could you okay, just give I'll me that information so I don't have to walk back there? What information? About uh the mission, the retrieving the shield mission. Uh find the shield. You were given it by uh, a member of House Janath. Janath. Uh, Juliet Alpha November November Alpha Hotel. Uh, Pango that, Hotel. Um, they gave you it. They were looking to sell it, however, if you find it, it's all yours to keep, and they described it to you if you would like a description. Oh, they didn't say where it could potentially be. It's been stolen. 
But it's Can I go back there and just kind of fucking like release a bowl into the store, just like smash everything? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where you get. We're not from. paying your jail bill. How the fuck am I supposed to lead a team to find a shield in a massive Baldur's Gate oh, city? With it's no a very room? distinct so, looking shield. So, go up, just out character, go and check your spell sheet. Um. Well, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The thing is, I don't know if it's considered familiar to me. Oh, wait, if they describe it, yeah, please, give me a description, fuck it. This is... Um, okay. Uh, now, I'm not going to sit there and try and describe it. They give you a they give you a description. It looks a lot like that. And you know that's right, that's well, the image you form in your mind. All right. Um, I'm going to consider the Baldur's Gate is a very small city. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going I'm to cast this. Locate object within a thousand foot of you. Let's see. Um. Well, you know, if if looking at the map. That's more than enough. Uh, Here in the city is like 20 foot across. <laughs> yeah, very small city, obviously. Um, I'll let you know in a sec, because there is a key here. It's in a thousand foot of you. Uh, I have a compass. I had a compass. Who stole my compass? There it is. I'm not a junkie. You're a junkie. Uh, grab pencil in there, I believe, because it's in Baldur's Gate. But... See, <clears throat> uh, you are. I'll well, say so you're in Elf Song Tavern area, and outside of a thousand foot, you don't know what it is. What do you mean? No, I'm asking you to clarify. Outside of a thousand foot, you don't know what it is, correct? Sure. Let's see. Yeah, as long as the object's within a thousand foot of you. How big is Baldur's Gate? <laughs> uh, Baldur's Gate is. End to end, apparently over a mile. Oh my fuck! Yeah, a mile squared, apparently. So it'd be ten feet, approximately. From you, uh, a ten, yeah, don't ten, feel like a ten fifty foot radius from where I'm currently at. Yeah, I think. yeah don't feel it. Its location where, is. Where's uh, Where are the nearest gallows? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> Everywhere. Might as well speed up the process of, of this character. Everywhere and nowhere. Ah, uh, there. Right. Technically speaking, there would be an execution barrier. Oh, barrier? barrier going here? To an execution. And there's right, one I'll, here as well. Uh, I'll turn towards my fellow com compatriots and say, "All right, so you got a description." Uh, supposedly, the thief looks kind of like an urchin. Holds up his hand about five foot ye high, but keeps moving it around so that it's <laughs> between four and six foot. Um, he might be wearing clothes, probably. Dark attire, I'm assuming. Might smell. That's, that's all the leads I got. But I know what a shield looks like, and if we put a noggings together, I'm sure that we'll find it. I said shield, but I do mean family heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, want, I want it to be very vague. <clears throat> Poor Jack and having to be with Aurea or alone. I'm kidding. So who's with me? Because <laughs> I'm not hearing a lot of enthusiastic applauding. I mean, I mean, I mean, as long as I get to destroy my enemies, I don't mind. <laughs> all right, you, you've got issues, first of all. I appreciate your motivation, but you need to see someone. As long as to destroy my enemies. <laughs> Just so fucking monotone. Oh, Toswell, did you know I was the only therapist for my unit? Yeah, I wasn't a good one. He's, in a, he's a fucking apathic sociopath. Oh my god. Hey, so that's all that's true. Well, we're well, gonna try and... while that oh. while that gone off, Corby um tried to like sneak off and not be followed as much, and I want to use this ability to try and get around the lower city as much as possible and try and pick up the things I uh, or as many of the things as I uh, like contacted you about. 
Hi, the sorry, I went to get done. a drink. Uh, right. So you are City Secrets K. Oh my yeah. god, I forgot about background features. I've got to use mine. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so fucking stupid. The thing you messaged me about again, give me a second. So my head's back whole, ass, my guy. The whole list of <laughs> items Combi is looking to pick up. Ah. Yep, okay. So, um, City Secrets, you know, pattern, okay. So, this particular stuff. As you walk around, um, I'm going to give these items in a very listed order. You reckon that the first item from all the things that you know, hear, and understand. You could get that in most any basic shot adventuring shop, be that Fergal's or the Sorcerer Sundries. Um, even your local London spa or day to day may hold this particular item. <laughs> it's a common adventuring type gear, but also has uses. Uh, you know that way every shop somehow sells lipstick. Um, your second one, however, that requires a bit more of a dodgy dealing. Yeah, take a moment and I you reckon that <clears throat> down by the docks is the best place to find an item like that, given the nefarious sorts that come in and pass through there. It's definitely the hottest hub for that particular trade. The third piece of information you're looking for, again, um, you would definitely be able to find that almost anywhere. Yeah, it's another common item. Uh, your final piece that you're looking for there, that would be available... Again, a a any, any good local news agents or retailers would stock those particular items. Um, the... First thing, the numbered 10, you'd definitely be looking at Fergal, given, given you know the job that he's doing for a member of your team. I'm trying to be really vague here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The second piece, the one that comes after it, also named uh, with the number 2, um, it depends how far out your road you wish to go. However, the closest place that you could probably get that particular item is the Shrine of Suffering, about maybe 250 to 500 feet away. I think the order I'd go would be the Shrine of Suffering, then Fergals, and then down to the docks, and then try and pick up all the stuff from there if I can. Okay, I just need to find the Shrine of Suffering in here because there's a chance, it's a small chance, but a chance I've sent you to Sharon worshippers. And that's a bad thing. Mm. Right? Mm. I, mean, I think Shari it would be for me, yeah. <laughs> I, think it, I think it would be for me. Actually, no, that'd be a good thing for you. Mm. Maybe. Shar did create a certain thing. Mm-hmm, yep. Uh... Yeah, you. So you wish to head to the Shrine of Suffering first and foremost to go. Ah, uh, this is military. Why does it give me the upper city? Oh, then the lower city. Why does it do that? Yeah, and so you walk in, looking around. Is it just you, or is there anyone else with you? I feel I should ask. Is I say, or is doing his thing? You're doing your thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> If it's at the same time, Aura won't be there. If it's at a different time, Aura will definitely be there. Unless instructed not to, but... Uh, I, think, I, think it, I think it's at the same time you went off. Yeah. I, I okay, I'm heading to Sorcerer's Sundries. Hey, Tarsal, you want to join me? Yeah, I don't think anyone is there. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe um, Kobe would ask if uh, Zia, uh, Zedia wanted to go, but I don't know if she would have done. It would have been something she may have been into, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it there. 
Let's see. Oh, uh... Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, Shrine of Suffering, not what I thought it was. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, you make your way into this area of the town. It's definitely a poorer district. There's a lot more homeless around. You see this rather nice, opulent building. A clear white stones that's cared for. You see all manner of clerics, you know, clerical people going around with their little fonts and such. You do see rather older women with like, you know, that Mother Teresa-esque headband thing. I don't know what that was and their little habits. And she looks, turns to you and... Oh, child. I sighed for sore eyes and... I'm afraid we're all out of meals for breakfast, but luncheon service will start soon if you wish to be joining us. Not hungry, thanks. Rowan, do you wish to volunteer for service? We need all the help we can get. Uh, busy. Um, uh, mission, but... Needed help. <clears throat> oh? Just gonna gestures for you to walk with her. She starts walking into this sort of big church like building. It's really quite grand, nice. It's more set out for a massive luncheon thing, like a soup kitchen type, where all the pews are set to little tables. Walks around and. How can I assist yourself today? Mission is hunt dead three cultists, but undead. Um, look for holy water. Oh, then all we would ask in return is a small donation to our cause, and you may help yourself to any one of the numerous fonts around and. Take your fill. And she's gonna hold out her hand. Uh, can I make some kind of roll to assess what might be normal? Um, insight. Insight seems a good one. Um, you reckon there that maybe two or three silver would be enough as there is a lot going on there but the meal quality though it seems like a low meal quality from what you can see you know it does also look like they're trying to feed the forty-four thousand here and there are urchins like i used to be urchins uh, all manner of more ad adult homeless people war veterans people missing limbs and such yeah i'll give 50 gold Her face is my face. She's gonna put that down and she looks at you. It's, uh, 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 are you sure? Well, it helps you feed, and I, I like gesture to um, the rest of the them. I've been there. What she's gonna. Raises her head up, just kind of looks into the huge stained glass windows. Thank you. She looks down at you, kind of places a hand on your head. And she does kind of nods at you. You uh, are truly one of a kind. Thank no, you no. so much. There are lots of me. None so generous. Oh, maybe. Um, can I go and help myself then? Of course, of course. Help yourself by all means and again, thank you ever so much. As I look around, is there any silver statues or silver like iconography? 
Uh, silver in general, or the type of silver that you're looking for? It'd be silver religious items, yeah. Uh, there's a few. It's not, it's not like a denominated church. It's definitely all the gods of good. So, you know, there's a few little things for, like, you know, Saloon, a few things for uh, Maliki. Name another few good gods and their symbols are around, be that as little pendants on tables or such, yeah? Some of the um, silver things to be, be Saluna particularly, I'd like to like, pick up and potentially see if I'm being observed and or if I could pocket them. Alright, I got to take a look at yeah. it. It doesn't quite seem like it passively. You can make a more active role on that if you wish, but passively it seems like everything's fine. No, I think he just tries to do it as subtly as he can and just pocket the ones to Saluna. Yeah. Do you kind <clears throat> of do we roll slide of hand or not? Yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Speed. Right in your pocket. Absolutely no fun. Whoop! Right in there as you walk around. Just aiming at it. Is it just the one, or are we looking at several here out of curiosity? I'm trying to pick up any that are particularly like the, the Silver Two, Saluna, and the Moon, and stuff like that. That's it. Roll me that again. Just roll my arse straight slight hand again. Yeah, I'd say walking around, you only managed to find, and through your graceful skill as a amazing pickpocket, and the fact that everyone seems to be very enamoured at the fact that you gave 50 gold, they're double, triple, quadruple counting it, I managed to get three pendants of soul in it. Nice. And do I manage to fill up? Some uh, flask of holy water. Yep, without any issue. Uh, cool. However many you wish, as you just, you know, 50 gold, you take whatever you want in moderation. Or three would be. Or uh, three saloon things. <laughs> yep. I'll probably then go to um, Fergal's and possibly meet up with Jacken if he's going there as well at that point. And you whoop, run the city down towards uh, Fergal's. I'd say also at this point here, Gark, you would definitely be done your thing if you're headed to Fergal's for your particular thing. Uh, what is my particular thing? You were having your mace silvered. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go to uh, uh, Fucky Wucky. <laughs> I forgot his name. Fergal. Zeus. Oh, make way into Fergal's once more. And we'll get to the source for sundries in a little minute there. As you see once more, he's rather clean this time. Not so much covered in soot, however the place is starting. As he looks. Oh, hi. You're back early. What's, uh, what can I do for you two? Kind of points towards Jackin and Corby. You, big man, I'll be with you in a little moment. You know, gives you a little wink there, Gark. I'm back for the sword. I said to uh, Virgo. Like a, a, a sexual wink or, or like a friendly wink? <laughs> I'll give you insight because I just want to see you roll low and suffer. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Like, that's, that's very sad. That wink was in slow motion. He was blushing. The background was all pink. He was. He was oh, totally my. flirting with you. <laughs> Oh, wow. I am uh, my Willy Wonka go silly now. <laughs> <laughs> Is he looks at yourself, Jack? The sword. Oh, you mean this one? Kind of takes it out of the display and holds it to you. See that? Oh, so familiar face. Can I roll something to like? To, to be able to tell if the sword is like 
how good the sword is, basically. Perception, investigation, dealer's choice. Did you get that? It's a uh, question marks, mate. There we go. Three. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this session so far. <laughs> 1d20, he rolled a 2. Ah, Ah, uh, yeah, finest quality that dirt can buy. It's a nice sword, very shiny, very sharp, looketh a goodeth a, very nice. Got it, got it. Can I, like, um, how much was it again? 200. Can I attempt to barter for a lower price? I already held it for you, but... Why should I give it to you a lower price? Give me a good reason, and I'll take it under consideration. Unlike your other travellers, I have good intentions, and I'm going to put the sword to good use to save lives and possibly be a regular <laughs> customer for you. My friend, the sword came from Chult itself. They say it was forged by the snake people known as Yuan Ti. You know what you've convinced me to, Hanukkah? <laughs> <laughs> Folded like a fucking deck chair. <laughs> Didn't even attempt. <laughs> He I'll take it. Hands you the sword. I'll drop it. I, uh, drop, take that off your sheet. Uh, so you've got 198 gold. Um, yeah. So do you fuel the power of this sword? Um, I'm going to add it to your sheet. Um, it is standard longsword by all other accounts. It does an additional D4. Poison provided you attune to it. Yeah, I'm gonna attune to it. Gotta do that over a rest, mate. Oh, do, oh, is that how it works? Okay. Yeah, you attune over rests. Any rest? I uh, believe so. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Book just says a rest. It's an hour long, it takes an hour to attune, so it's so, a short rest. Short rest. rest. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, that'll be for me, that'll be me for now. Thank you, Virgo. <laughs> you do, you do enjoy that, as he gives you a little smile and... Yeah, he's kind of like bobs up a little. He turns to you, Corby. And you, friend, what can I do for you? What are you looking for? Arrows to hunt undead. Oh. Okay. A few of those, gonna goes to the back and comes back with a, a quiver. Just absolutely stock filled with arrows. Way more arrows in this quiver than what there should be. He starts gonna pulling them all out. You're gonna fan some out. These ones here, they got a bit of a barb on them. That goes through, you pull that out and they are torn. These ones here, um, they go on fire and you can get them back because of a bit of metal in the inside. And these ones here made of silver. Uh, what are you looking at? Can I make some kind of check? Yep. Uh, undead, vulnerable to fire, particularly. You can make sure. Um, religion, history, intelligence based if you're. Nothing in regards to the undead that you have fought. There may be some, but you, you gather if there's no body, there's not enough to get them up, you know? How much? Uh, Fire these ones, or silver? The silver ones, I'll, I'll give you a, a whole, whole bag of them. A nice quiver of 24. Uh, I'll call it 15 gold because you're... Friends with my friends, shall we say. A friendly face discount. That's fair. And the fire ones? 
Uh, these ones here, you'd be... These are just your stand, so I'd say here... Two, 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 two. two gold for 20. And just remember, it's just that they can go on fire and they don't break as easily. They're a bit more resilient. Done. Take 20 of each. Alright, so that's... 17 gold total. Uh... That's 20 silver arrows and 20 uh, hardened arrows is supposed to be the word. Okay. Yeah, it just means if they go on fire, you can get them back on like a normal arrow that would go away. Is there anything else that you're looking for there, friend? I think that's good, thanks. No, Barney. Turns to yourself, or... You asked me to take your mace and... Give it a bit of a silver and correct me if I'm wrong. You're muted. Dark. Sorry, I was muted. Skip. Um... Yeah, I, I, want, I want to mark my holy mace. Silvered. My mace at the middle gun made. Do you remember how much I quoted you for that? Uh, uh, I, I believe you said 60 gold pieces. Uh, on second thought, no, I think it was 100. Do you know what you gave me? 101. You gave me a diamond. I did. <laughs> I oh, forgotten. Thank you for reminding me. I had your diamond appraised. Oh, I, I had it appraised already. Didn't you appraise it for me? Pretty sure it was only worth 50. It was, yeah. And then I also handed him 50 gold pieces on top of that. Did you? I only seen the one that I saw on me. It's gonna look so okay. Well, the good news is got it back and he's gonna comes out from under the little banister here little shelving you see your mace once more with the nice silvered edges and a nice silver dome the handle still nice and wooden but a little more crafted as he looks at you made this a little bit more comfortable to help with the weight because silver's a bit you know a bit harder but in terms it's gonna make it a lot easier to use just let oh. me know how it feels and he hands can it I, over. Can I test it? By all like, means. Just uh, take it out here on the counter. He's gonna move us uh, back. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> you scammed me. <laughs> Don't blame the tool's creator. Blame the user. I am an artisan. You maybe should stick to other Professions. I give good blurries. No, <laughs> never mind. I am a married I don't man. Say, no, I don't <laughs> say that to <laughs> take a read a fucking room, mate. No, um, never. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll, 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 thank you, brother. If you ever need me, uh, call upon my God's name, and I will arrive. And your God's name is just. Think of something. <laughs> I don't have a name yet. <laughs> I, uh, I need I need to make a vessel first before I give it a name. Greg. It's just, definitely not Greg. He's all kind of watching. Sure. He's just standing there, like repeatedly blinking, kind of fast, looking uh, round. So, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, just just refer to it as a metal gun made. Everyone will know what that means. The metal god made. You got it. So, uh, do you... <laughs> do you perhaps sell a, a plus one shield, brother? I don't really keep many things attuned to the weave. However, if you look at that wee card I gave you, she what? might. Oh, this... Uh, bitch, yeah, okay. Um, I'll... I'll... Uh, I'll wink at Corby, I guess. Fla flaunt the business card around. 
Uh, turn back to um, uh, uh, what the fuck? Fuck all. I forgot his name again. First of all, who is in the Sorcerer's Sundries with uh, Rupert no, at the moment. <laughs> this little boy that just gave me back my mace. Oh. Uh, Fergal. 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 F okay, fuck all. Fergal. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I do. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, call upon my god or send me a letter. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be in your favour. You'll be in my favour. You get what I mean. Uh, it's very I'm, clear I'm, common is not your first language, brother, and that's okay. Mind I have traveled many cities, I know many languages. Three, <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> no, I speak more in our tongue. Anyway, uh, bye. Uh, I'd like to walk out of the store. And approach Corby, if, if he's still here, unless he dipped off again. My perception check. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh no, he rolls good. He is trying to sneak off, but you do see him. Uh, does does he see me? Perception. Probably. I mean... Oh. Okay, well, probably. It's kind of a yes or no. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Oro would like to flop the business card in his direction. Uh, not point or anything to really, you know, give away his position, because... He's probably doing something important, and I don't want to write him out to the rest of the party. Who's just trying to sneak off? Like the rest of us aren't even here. Yeah, he, 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 he wasn't like hiding or sneaking. Right. He was just trying to move off quietly. But you saw it, so. Oh, uh, all right. Well, in that case, I'll approach him. I'll be like, uh, hey, uh, Corby, you uh, you want to act upon that business proposal that I gave you? Sure. Because uh, I might need to go there regardless. Well, you... I was going to go down that area and scout it out a bit before we go do anything. Uh, I can help you with that. I'm good at scouting. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can roll insight on it if you want, or you can just flat believe on your choice. I'm good. Yeah, check me out. Um, Oro will crouch well, down and try and blend in with the wall. Corby goes, well, oh. if nothing else, I think you'll fit right in with the smell of the uh, carpet. I'll take that as a compliment. The bathhouse really traumatised me. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right, um, well. If he looks over at Jack and Jack, and you, do you want to come as well? Or you? Yeah, I'll, I'll come out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I already convinced him. He's an absolute psychopath. He just He's a psychopath. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, let's let let's go. We'll, we'll head down to the harbour. I will we'll, let you go to the others. Pepsi, it wasn't almost. Someone threw me into a fucking bath. <laughs> According to my memory, I think it was also you that threw me into the water. I didn't push you into any water. Uh, okay, well, uh, I said according to you my fell memory. unconscious in some water in the in the underground, but that's about it. Um, well, Kirby, if you got a tail to spin, so that the others will join us for the extra protection, I'll be more guest. Go on, You're come. a good word. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, not. In general, I have posted a photo of essentially exactly how it looks on the back of that little card. Uh, how Call that a symbol, is... but that's three letters. <laughs> that's no, it's the hand as well. Oh, okay. I thought you were that's... just like being. No, if I wanted to do game. that, I'd have written it down on the paper. What is that? What is that post it? What does that say? That post it? Sheena Mermaid. Blushing Mermaid. Oh, bah. Yeah. So that way I can keep track of where you've been, who's there, and what's going on. Sorry, I'm just practicing my Sherlock Holmes ambitions. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll follow, I'll follow Colby. Let's use... Uh, I'll also show him the symbol on the business card. I'll actually just fucking give him the business card. He, he saw it when you first did it. Okay, he, he, did give you, he did give you a piece of advice. He's told you to be careful. Yeah, I know. Care careful is not what I'm stirring to, nor is it mine, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Then, as you are making your way that way, first of all, uh, Doctor, you have been oh so patient. 
as you approach the large building known as the Sorcerer's Sundries. The beautiful opulent domes, the people walking round, the area smelling of all manner of components as you walk into what could only be described as a library of components as the this tiefling woman standing there, blue horns curled like a ram. Hi! Those are the sundries, how can I help? Uh, First of all, just sort yeah. of like turns to like Rupert and lets him take the lead. He seems to know what he wants. Uh, yes, uh, I'm here for general uh, alchemical um, equipment. Do you happen to have alchemist supplies? in stock here? Mm, yep. Uh, how much is the going price for those? Uh, tools or, um, like, powders. Uh, such as alchemy supplies. Oh. I think there's a player's handbook price for those, but those are the one things that no one else has ever bought, so I don't have it in a shop, so give it a little 50 gold. 50 gold. Do you think you're getting away that easy? I'm uh, just telling you the <laughs> usual price. Uh, alchemist. Spell alchemy first. Uh, Of course, sir. Just give looks. Give you that little nod. Mm. <laughs> he kind of runs off to the back. Comes out with these sets of tools. Uh, this one or this one? Colors uh, are the only difference. One's blue uh, and one's yellow. I'll take the blue one. <laughs> Gold. All right, uh, I won't make a fuss. And uh, you happen to have any um, bottles, glasses that are resistant to acid that can contain it? Uh, anything made of glass. All right. Uh, do you sell glass bottles here? Yes. Perchance. We I was sell just making alchemy. sure. I'm yes. sorry. I apologize. I haven't been in town for quite some time. Uh, I'll take uh, three bottles. What's the priceage for that? Then kind of starts pulling up all these little racks. You get everything from a test tube to one that requires two hands to be held. Uh, specifically? Uh, a couple of vials that can hold approximately between four to eight ounces. You talking healing potion size? Uh, I just need enough that can hold uh, um, eight ounces of acid. I'm getting. Ah. I have an alchemy jug. Remember? <laughs> that was right. I think I was just gonna <sighs> just gonna put some all down and give you th these bulbous ones. You can definitely hold in your hand, but that's actually like fucking grenades, if you will. <laughs> yeah, looks. Uh... Da, 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 da. Carry the one and remove the electron. Mm. Four gold. Uh, two gold per. Mm. Three gold. All right. She beat sure. me to math. I'll... <laughs> All right, so I'll pay up that amount and then. Uh, is there anything like, while I'm buying this stuff, is there anything that would maybe catch my eye that might be of use? Any pre-made stuff? Uh, I guess anything magical or alchem alchemic interests? Possibly you can see that there are definitely all manners of healing potions all over the place. As well as that, you know, you've seen it very recently, so you know what alchemist fire looks like. Um, there are a few vials of particular... Um, acids, definitely some more beautiful and delicate looking types of vials, however, they can't be seen through, but you can tell, given by the fact they have a little skull and crossbones on them, you probably don't want to fuck with them either. 
probably some kind of poison. Uh, I'll keep the healing potions in mind, and then... So that's three bottles for, um, did you say three gold? Three bottles, three gold, plus alchemist supplies, 53 gold total. Alright, 53 gold, just tracking, and then... Uh, healer's <laughs> kit. Uh, I, I, it's a long shot, but does, does this place um, have them? I would like to make purchase of one. Mm, yep. Because uh, underneath it kind of pulls out like a little box of them, you know, cracks it open, a fresh supply. Ten gold each. Uh, I'll just take the one. That's sixty-three gold, and then how much for your lowest tier of um, healing potion? Mm. It looks at you. Looks at everything you bought. Does you know whispers in? Usually fifty, but forty-five because you spent so much. All right. Oh, I'll, she's my <laughs> um, um, Yeah, just because I'm curious, I would like to roll insight. Just curious if she's being sure. Uh, if the, is, is fifty like the actual usual price? Is what I'm wondering. Just had curiosity. Yeah, about PHB, I believe it's 50. Okay. And then, so the, it's uh, 45 since I bought so much. So, 60. Hold on, I'm doing math real quick. It'd be 178 minus 63. Nine. I have 115 yet left. And you said 45? Yeah. 45. 45. Then I'll make purchase of two of your um, low tier healing potions. Baller! That would leave me with 25 gold. That was just 143 gold total. Mm -hmm. She kind of looks at you and pulls up the two little vials, kind of sits them down delicate with her little cork stoppers. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Uh, Tossable, do you need anything? Uh, I don't really metal in alchemy or similar things, so I don't see what would be necessary for me. Well, healing potions are always good, though I don't know. You probably have to make a few purchases before you get a discount. That is true. You cast spells? We do I components. Do. That is true. Well, what selection of array do you suggest? Mm, what do you need? It's actually a really good question. Uh, do your spells would, require like, any components at the moment? Um, uh, no, that's semantic. Hmm. Um, that would be in a component pouch. That's verbal. A uh, cup of water. You could take that from your thing. Uh, yeah, no, li li literally nothing. Um, distilled alcohol. There, there's actually no components that you would require at this moment in time. All of your spells just will happen to be either hand shit or speaky stuff. Mm. I'm checking my stuff real quick in case I need to buy any, like. But by that, I mean, like, you know, like uh, your, your 50 gold diamonds and. Anything with that price value, 10, 10 gold uh, worth of silver dust, for example? Uh, none of my spells really require any money right now, so I think I'm good with what I've purchased. So that is... Two... Uh... Um, Alchemist supplies, three vials, and two healing potions. Yep. Uh, you can use the importer at the top of your sheet, uh, clicking on plutonium import and then get into items and you can look for them. Import at the top of the sheet. Yep. Uh, and okay. under the three dots, plutonium import looks like a weird alchemical symbol. And wow. left hand side, you've got items, then in the bottom right hand side, you have import. And then you just get a search bar to look for the shit you need. And you can click the little play yep. button. <clears throat> just gonna look around. Would you like a bag with that? 
Uh, I have my own bag. I'll just be I'll be storing it in my equipment. Okay. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. And that's all I needed from Sorcerer Sundries. So uh, unless Tarsal wants to buy anything like healing potions, I'm good to go. No, I don't really think I need much. Uh, as we're leaving, I like to think uh, Rupert's giving you like morbid facts about. Did you know it takes this amount of acid to melt through a, and alchemical fire can burn through blank really quickly. <laughs> as we're exiting, girls just, just staring, staring at the door, blinking. <laughs> <laughs> you just head out into the city. Where you just going anywhere else? Uh. Is there anywhere you need to go within the city? I can happily guide you if you're looking for anything in particular. Hmm. I don't think I have really anything in mind. I'm more just following you around to see if there's anything that catches my eye, but I'm not one for material things and I don't really find any interest in things at the moment. Fair enough. Uh, then I'd say let us find our remaining companions. I am praying that Ore Ore hasn't broken anything. Indeed. Or anyone. I'll fucking eat you. <laughs> Meanwhile at the docks, there's a full <laughs> wrestling match going on. Oh, he's got a guy in a headlock, snaps his neck. <laughs> <I> Tries. <lose. laughs> I mean, be fair, that's, that's a... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> You have that as we're going shit? through the town, as we're going through the town, can I just look out for any shops to sell, mag to sell magical items? Just to take a mantle out? Just be possible. Magical aware. items are not the type of thing that you find standing in a sh the front of a shop. They're rare-ish, you know. They're, they're not those things, it's, it's, I suppose the best way to look at it is like, uh... If you run a small shop, like say... You know, a small wand is. You don't put a 40 inch plasma TV in the front window with a sign that says for sale. It was kind of like a back street thing. It's more of a. Either you know a guy or a guy knows a guy. Okay, I got you. So it's like drugs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got it. Got it. Got it. I know of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Not through hey, personal use. Novocaine? The fuck is that? Do they have any cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor needs his dose, you know? <laughs> Had a DM that done that once. A guy bought a strange white powder for 50 gold. As an action, he'd snort the powder and gain advantage in all strength based checks for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's very clearly that cocaine. Sounds amazing. It was the Barbarian too, so like, fuck. <laughs> oh god, Cocaine Barbarian. <laughs> cocaine Bear, the movie. Oh, no. I was gonna say that. Yep. So basically a druid wild shaped on cocaine. Pretty much. Oh dear oh, lord. I'd say, you just, you know, you just take about time. You just <laughs> inquire. Virgil tells you that they made their way down towards the dock area. You reckon, you know, they had... Good reason to go there. All As you right. get to the dock, it starts to like like a rather quiet day at the docks. And see the Low Lantern Tavern, a large ship in the middle of the bay, moored. Let's look at it. It's definitely no longer fit for sale by any way shape or form it is dilapidated beyond all ends the fact that it stands here in the bay to begin with is a miracle just look upon it these are do i see any abnormally sized gnomes <laughs> no but you smell them <laughs> Oh god! Oh god, Tossable, I think I know where he is! <laughs> yeah, hot. Gold. Does, yeah? Does the um, ship have portholes? Ah, uh, indeed it does. 
and a few little portholes dotted along the side of it. Could I make a guesstimate if, as a small character, I might be able to squeeze through them? Mm. If they were open, definitely. Okay. And they open from the inside, yeah? Yeah, Almost inside it. As you do, like, you see all manner of people lifting stuff off of other boats, putting them into warehouses and such. You can see all manner of proprietor going up onto the ship before you know, not being seen for quite a bit of time. You see some people staggering out and falling down the gangplank onto the bar, onto the bay. You can see others being thrown off the ship into the water, hearing things about gambling debts and such. You can see at one point a fight breaks out on the top of the ship. It's a rough and tumble place, definitely. Not like the Elsong Tavern, but kind of close to the Blushing Mermaid. With more of a reputation. Is there anything in particular you are looking for? Hello, Meg. Uh, I divine Hex. So. Can I use Divine I Senses? I need to drop yep. you home on Friday. Yeah? I don't have time to take you into town, I don't think. That's right, why do you need to drop me off on Friday? After you've been to the doctor, so oh. I need to drop you home. Oh yeah, no bar. Because I've got an appointment at 4 o'clock at the fort, so... Sure. It was uh, half six, so it wasn't going to be a problem, but then she's got her days mixed up, so she's missing. Okay. Yeah, it for free. Fuck it. Okay. Worked out well. Yeah. She's um, trialing a new thing because I thought I said when in I spoke to Jane in work today about being allergic. Yeah. And um, then I went in at Katie and said, "Can you do a wee splodge test on me?" Yeah. Talking about the new trial, so what she had set up. Yeah. Are you wanting me to leave her in here because you keep no, she, petting her? No, yeah, because she gets into the position. She autopilots into that yeah. position, and I autopilot into petting her because I'm an idiot. I've been looking at it all day. There's two brain cells in there competing for third place. Yeah, uh, Divine Sense, what does that do again? I'll check your sheet real quick, because is that the one that's blocked by things? Uh, basically, you could sense anything evil within a certain radius, I think. Anything being. Behind sense, uh, and then there's any celestial fiend undead, 60 foot, not behind total cover. You can crack that off, yeah. I do it. Uh, Gart, yeah, I'll knock it off your sheet. Uh, I whistled and I realised that I've probably done the dog. Um, this, yeah. this is not going to bite me in the ass <laughs> in a later moment. You pop this off. As you do, as this is one of those ones, yeah. As you. Close your eyes and pop us off. The world seems to quieten for a moment. Your senses start to drift off. You take a deep breath in and start to clear your nostrils. The smell of aura is making it just a little bit harder than normal. <laughs> and the smell hits you like a port a cabin in the summer on a construction site, it hits you hard. And you let it fall atop one of these warehouses. You can smell something fiendish, something evil, something not of this world. Um, can I roll perception to see if I see what's on top of the warehouse? You can sense it, but as you look up, it is nothing there. Ah. Okay, I got you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I, I informed the rest of the party. I just let the party know what I sense. Have we met up with them yet? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, yeah. I'm hand waving yeah. certain shit like that, yeah. Just making sure, sorry. That's right. Mm. 
Sorry, Q, could you repeat what you said? I basically oh, sorry, I, I, I sense something evil on top of one of the body carbon or carbons or body carbons or no. I sense something. <laughs> something. Smell, smell something using divine sense on top of the um, warehouses. Oh, warehouses. Oh, it's the way I could describe it is it smells like a porter potty in the middle of a hot summer's day on a construction yard. <laughs> Alright, okay. No, I'm sure like that's that just thing. not Oro Ore's musk. No, I'm sure. That's pretty <laughs> Oro Ore is pretty bad, but this is worse. Oh. Dear God, what something did... worse as he's looking over at Oro Ore. <laughs> Wait, did he say it was fiendish? It was fiendish. Is this something that we would feel the need to follow, or I, something to avoid? I don't think it di specifically differentiates, it just says bad things smell bad, good things sound good. Alright, got it, Yeah, uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Oh, you know the type, ah, uh, fiend. I am from the party, I tell them I could sense a fiend on top of the warehouse. Did anyone bring any holy water? No. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I have this new invention. It's called a gun. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be effective against whatever fiendish foe you can encounter. This is a... All on this dock right now. Is there anything in particular that we're looking for? Sorry, we were interrupted during that. I'll be just there. By the way, why are you all out trunk. here? Uh, Corby's been moving around the dock, picking up some stuff. Sort of like trying to not be obviously obvious when he's um, observing the ship. Um, let's see. <clears throat> on that, uh, again, I'll just use your passive on here for because it is quite a high passive. Everyone's got really high passives, and then there's Jacken. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely the underbelly that's here for certain. There's a steady flow of people going in, steady flow of people coming out. The smell that wafts from it every so often, it's, it does actually smell inviting. It's some nice ale, it definitely smell like they're doing something right. But as you do look around the particular area as well, you can see how someone could have been kidnapped here rather easily, given that in the right shadows you do tend to go missing for a few people every so often. The ship itself, however, very much uh, just bobbing there. But the clientele, you're not seeing anything specific that I'm aware of. Uh, can I go investigate the warehouse? Like, maybe climb on top of it, or just nip around. Yeah, it says you <clears throat> are looking around. Um, you know, in that little look, you kind of see a little gate. We have a point in the gate and you see the warehouse. And, you know, a ladder to the roofs. You know, look around. No one seems to stop you as you climb the ladder and look up. But there's nothing on the roof. Nothing at all, just empty. Uh, you know what happens when things are invisible. Can I ask a quick question? Is there anything within uh, oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask, uh, Rupert, given we're in a shady part of town-ish, uh, he is keeping an eye out and seeing if anyone's in any, like, passerbys are, like, watching us particularly closely. <laughs> But that's about it. I'd say you're all trying your hardest not to look inconspicuous. Um, you know, given that one's a smelly gnome that's built like a brick shit house, one's a guy with broken hands, one's a Kenku, one's a guy looking, you know, dour faced as fucking our one is a 
tiefling with sunglasses, you know, try your hardest not to stick out like sore thumbs. Um, <laughs> yeah, no one really seems to care too much that you're here. You know, every so often someone, maybe a guard or such, kind of looks at you, gives you a little look over just to make sure you're not doing anything that could be perceived as illegal that would require a random stop and search, if you will. Mm. Uh, barring in that, the drunk proprietors walk, stumble, fall and roll past you. The other people seem to just ignore you. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Rupert's mostly just keeping an eye out for us. I walk around the warehouse, like the roof, because I can see invisible creatures up to 10 feet, and I just walk around, and if I do see something, I pretend not to see it. Yeah. Um, boom, 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 boom. As you are walking around the roof, looking. Uh, give me a perception check. Great. Oh my god. I, four. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to see. Hard to understand. You swear it was here. You swear upon all that is holy. Something was here. It smelt wrong. Everything on here was wrong. A divine sense doesn't last as long as you were hoping it would. Maybe it's gone. Maybe it's moved. Maybe it was Ori Ori. <laughs> Maybe it was Maybelline. I just rejoined the group. Then. Did anyone else do anything with this time? Uh. Probably not. Then, like I said, I'm just keeping an eye out. As time progresses, let's say it goes from you know, almost sun up to almost sundown, past sun up to sundown. You do what? Oh, no. I didn't mean. To, I was just. I would. No, that was the Lovecraft thing. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. You can watch as the Nate. Yeah, that's in. the joke. <laughs> Wait, what? I missed a joke. Oh no, he said, oh, it's Lovecraft. I'm like, yeah, that's the joke of his name. Oh! His name is just Lovecraft spelled backwards. It is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't you work that out first session? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's say as the day turns to a dusk. You've seen all manner of people go in. You've seen all manner of people come out. You've heard people talking. You've heard drunken stammerings. You've also heard a few people say something along the lines of that Van Thumper cunt. That Van Thumper asshole. Fuck him. Ben. Um, also, a weird one you've heard, which doesn't really ring true, is one person screamed at the top of his lungs, fuck the guild, before sprinting off pastures. Does that name mean anything to me? Does what name mean anything to you? The guild. Give me history, you've not been here in a while. Fair. But obviously the Van Thumper thing I'm keeping note of. Yeah, I was going to be like Van Thumper, we've been talking about these the entire time. Um, yeah, I know. Given a place like this, uh, one could easily say the Thieves Guild. Alright. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> someone doesn't like the Thieves Guild too much. As it starts to draw in, soon 
It becomes hard to see as a fog obscures the low lantern tavern. You're within about a hundred foot of it and as the winds and such pick up, the rain starts to pour and you hear the cracking, creaking of the boat in the wind. As you do, it's anchored here to the wharf, this thick chain as he's been here a while. And the plank goes up from the warp's edge to the main deck of the lantern. The bow has this eerie green lantern that seems to ting on at the first sign of darkness. Roll initiative. <laughs> uh, nope, that's a wall that I've just placed on Farcival. Wall falls, Farcival uh... dies. <laughs> Well, I guess we gotta bring in Lovecraft now. <laughs> yeah, if he dies, the next character will just be named Lovecraft, and it'll just be, like, blue instead of red. And he'll be racist. <laughs> <laughs> Lovecraft was a racist, y'all. He was so just racist. Said. He was so racist that the KKK asked him to stop associating with them because he made them look bad. <laughs> and don't ask what he named his cat. Yeah. <laughs> I remember oh, oh, no, it gets, uh, one, of, yeah. one of the very first stories I read of Lovecraft was something called the Yellow Army. It's about this dude who's posted up on this Mystic City, that is one ugly fucking cat, I'm very sorry. Uh, who's posted up on the highest tower of this Majestic City. It's uh, it's wealthy, rich, militaristically uh, one of the best cities in the world. Um, the story ends with the guard being scared out of his mind because he had a vision that um, the city would be trampled with a uh, surprisingly superior army. Uh, and then the yellow army comes into play, sees them over the horizon, yellow-faced, uh, monstrous barbarians, um, and then the guard yells out, um, oh no, it's the Eskimos. And that's where the story <laughs> ends. Uh, anyway, that's, um, I just want to share that. Question, can everyone see? Yes. Alright, can. Tom says he's camp. I've got global illumination on here, so everyone should be able to see. No, I, uh, oh no, I can't see. I'm just. Yeah, uh, it's not, it's far not... off on the map. Oh no, I wasn't right inside of the map. We're all on the left. Yeah, yeah, it's all bad. Well, I... But what so I've made this new the, invention called a gun. <laughs> But yeah, give me a little moment there. Just gonna nip to the toilet and we can begin. Ball means play it out. So, so Corby sort of like uh, tries to gather everyone out of sight of the ship and goes, right, um, what, what do we want here? We know that there's an Amaric land thamper there. What do we want to get from him? I'm gonna like get a bit quieter when talking to Corby and the others. Like, Sounds like the Van Tompers are involved with some sort of cult activity. We might be, I don't know, we, 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 might, we might be very well, might as well be watched. So be careful what you say. Uh, I, I have one suggestion that I've been making a lot. What? For the love of fuck, let's actually capture one of them for interrogation. So far, we have bludgeoned, drowned, burned, every possible captive while we might you know get hints on treasure or people um, or cultists i mean mortlock was pretty helpful who yeah, he was, yeah he was different though they wanted to kill him i uh i released that creature from my memory <laughs> Look, to be no fair, we have... to my retinas. I mean, to be fair, most of the people we could have captured were very much a threat, regardless if they had their hands tied or not. Should oh. we just... <laughs> the next question I have is, do we all want to go in together? Or do we want to go in, in like, pairs, so that we are might not be associated as being I, together? I agree with the latter. As well as not being associated, as well as not seeing so threatening. 
Well, I mean, that we're already been... Decision. Sorry, good. Oh, that may be the wisest decision. But we've already been seen all together multiple times. I mean, the bad house. Oh shit! They might not remember, or it might be coincidence. Who knows? They might think we're together. They might not be. I'd rather Don't. take the chance and not. Well, uh, I'm in disagreement. We would. I think it's best we stick together so we can back each other up. But you can still stick like 30 feet behind us, mate. So, what, what, what my thinking was is that I look at Jackan and Rupert. So you two come in last. And you're the ones who go and talk to the person we want to. If the three of us, and I point to the others, are already in there, we can be in position to support you if anything goes wrong. And they might not know of it. Are you sure you should send the man with a gun in first? I feel like I should be in the back. Can't you get rid of the gun? So, well, character, what, isn't it something you can... It's like a good summon. R R Rupert, and you see Corby sort of like rub his head. What I said is that we go in first and we are already in there. And then you and Jack can come in and talk to him. So, my understanding Sorry, of that I misunderstood. is that we go in first and you are going in last. Sorry, I didn't... It, did, it sounded like we were. I was going first with Jack. You no, no. Said that you, first. You, you, you two seem the most direct. So if you were to go and talk, then well, if the rest of us go in five, ten minutes beforehand, we can be there. They might not think you got back up. All right. Fine. Come on, blind boy. We're going in last. And he gestures for Jack to come over here. <laughs> I'll move the Jack and token for you. Boom, bye. <laughs> uh, Kurdaba, do you want to lead the way? Or would you maybe be recognizable as part of the King's Guard? Or whatever they called. I'm the not Fist? part of that. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, but you, you did work for him. No. Oh. They no. hired you, didn't they? <laughs> You were at the middle, man. Yes, but... They... Uh, I was told to... come here and do their bidding. Oh. Well, do you want to lead the way? <laughs> or should one of us? Not really. Um, I, I like to sort of try and be in the background, as it were. Oh, i going to regret this. Um, or I will lead the way, then. I'll Excellent. Just walk up to what well, I assume is the entrance. Come on to this deck of the ship. You see a small... You see the seagulls flying around and you just see a small area leading down. As you look on this particular area, the deck of this old ship features some wooden stairs climbing up to the forecastle and aft cast castle. And the other set of stairs descending into the ship. The padlock wooden hatch fitted with windows acts as a skylight for the deck below. The tavern proper visible through this hatch and glass panes. Uh, you also see a few dead seagulls lying there on the deck, some ravens squawking from the crow's nest some 40 foot up the ship's rigging. Wouldn't it be a raven? I'm going to give you a C plus for that. That was good. Put Thanks, Dad. Uh, but I don't see any like humanoid. Not a human in sight, no. All right. Well, uh, I was raised a pretty boy. I'll let to politely knock on the wood and say, "Uh, hello. Is there anyone there?" Ah, ah. I assume that's uh, uh, your best impression of the seagull. That was. Can that Corby was look a, up at oh, the ravens? The, yeah, that's a raven. <laughs> You said ravens in, in the nest? <laughs> yes, ravens in the crow's nest. Wouldn't it be a raven's nest? Fuck off. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you gonna take a look at well, what, 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 what are they doing here? Are they, are, they, are they just sort of standing there? Yeah, we're gonna bobbing and hopping around. You can see little bits of white feather in their mouth, but they are very much just looking around. They don't even seem to have a nest here. Um, 
they're just here. White feather. Dead seagull, white feather. The them. fuck is a raven doing it in seagull? That's not normal. That's, that's, that's what the book says, my guy. Uh, yeah, but um, Corby knows that's ravens. Not normal. That's not normal. <laughs> um, <laughs> or no, I will, um, will elate to the seagulls. Ah, uh, please, uh, lords of the skies, uh, call two times if I'm allowed to enter. Or just, you know, hop on my shoulder. Otherwise, I'll enter. Start just kind of bobbing around and looking, given that odd twitch and the blinks and... Yeah, fucking seagull twitches. Doesn't seem to bother as you're going to watch as some of them start eating away at other things. Alright. Well, I didn't give, uh, you know, a signature for a no, so <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to... I'll step onto the ship and if I blow up, then that's that. That point there, the ship collapses. It goes underground. A huge tentacle comes up, pulls Ori in. You then see a huge bar of soap start rubbing them together. <laughs> bar of soap. Taste it. Or would it be uh, nothing, nothing happens. No, nope. no seagull flock that comes to tear me to shreds. No. Nope. Every now and then, a little bit of weight just <laughs> down on the ground. Uh, well, um, I'd like to look into the um, the break. Yeah, that's called. Yeah, as you. Look down, you see a few half orcs and such that seem to act almost as security. You see numerous people sitting playing cards at tables, some drinking. You see a woman with a small crab on her shoulder speaking to a kenku behind the bar. You watch as another man at the bar you know, sits there and tries to keep himself where you watch as his head just right off and it knocks himself awake again. Uh, I'd like to point down to the brig, uh, looking at Corby. I won't say anything, just in case I might hear us. Corby's watching the ravens. Are they, like, paying attention to us? Fucking mm. ravens. Kinda. They're looking at you, looking at what you're doing, and then kind of looking back at each other. Almost as if you're, you know, maybe oh, where they would like to be. Oops. Yeah, like, cautious. Like I'd say the word they're being is cautious. You know that way, like, when you're in town and you can get really fucking close to seagulls, but they still kind of back away from you? Yeah. Uh, Look at What seagulls are you They're pigeons. Mine just fucking pigeons. kamikaze into me. Oh, pigeons. Yeah, uh, Glasgow's full of pigeons and seagulls because it's right on a river. And then there's about 40 fucking McDonald's. Have you ever eaten a pigeon? No, but I want to try. No, not a... Um, no, no. <laughs> Brother. A, a wild pigeon's fine. Yeah, a wild pigeon is a city pigeon is. Uh, uh, don't do that. I'm not, not going to eat that. Uh, yeah. you, but the other thing is, did you know that um, to kill a seagull is illegal in the UK? Yeah, because they're protected. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh. Oh, because they are they're, they're protected. Yeah, for the most part. Although, if you live where I do, and apparently in where Scottish does, there are lots of them. But yeah. I know that because I was working on the beach in the summer when I was at university, and some guy went along killing like 20, 30 seagulls with a machete. Seagull oh clubbing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, cutting their heads off. We had to go and I had to go and pick up all the, the bodies because they're on the beach. During during the summer when we were playing, um, you can actually hear the seagulls outside mine at like one in the morning. Like I'll be up lying in bed maybe for work, and at one in the morning, all the seagulls start like. Squawking, and that's it. You're not getting to sleep. Yeah, I used to hear them outside all the time because I live in Florida, so. You got swamp puppies to worry about. <laughs> hey, we, we can everyone see the seagulls at this point? Yeah, there's yeah. seagulls all over. Like, there's seagulls in the sky and everything. Oh, sorry, I mean, the ravens, the ravens, sorry. Yeah, they're in the. They're, in like, they can, they're up 40 odd foot. You can kind of. Can they just make them bobbing around? Corby and Orr can see them because they are considerably closer. But they don't seem to. Uh, they don't seem to be brave enough or curious enough to come down as you are there. Um, like I like to uh, go back to the staircase and wave over the two dorky humans, um, just so that they're not a mile away if we ever get in trouble. 
Uh, and if they get up here, I'll kind of whisper to them, uh, uh, just stay up here until you hear a sign. Um, but I'm not going to wait for them to come up here uh, in game because uh, apparently they're pretty slow because they're still standing still. Yeah, because they can't see you. Well, they can see me if I walk up to the staircase. Oh, I thought you meant because you're standing next to another staircase. That's on me. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, and, um, oh, well, I'll just, I'll fucking go down, I guess. Oh, I'm right into view of Corby, who's already <laughs> inside. Yeah, so you just come into this small area here. You look. Yes, yes. So I gotta think, uh, oh, this is fucking what? Okay, five. Jesus fucking Christ, we are a bit away. Yeah, as you come down out of here, the cabin is filled with mismatched wooden furniture, including a bed which posts carve resemble a bed which posts are carved to resemble mermaids. Fuck off. Yeah, no, that's a different room. Yeah, this room here, all still mismatched. All looks a bit messy as you hear a woman. Well, my, my name's uh, Leanne Thunder, but folks around here call me Captain. Um, if you're thirsting for a beverage or just looking to gamble, this is the place. Things can get pretty messy around here, so be careful and keep your hands on your coin purses. As you kind of look round, this is the busiest and noisiest part of the ship as it reeks of sweat and there is some stale ale, there's some rotten timber and you've got to be very careful where you put your feet as there are small puddles of vomit all over the place. There are three bouncers, half orcs, all strategically positioned within this particular area. And as the woman walks by, you see that she has a small crab that just kind of stands there and scutters across both of her shoulders occasionally kind of nipping little bits of her hair off as you look here behind the bar there are all manners of kegs different colors different wording some with three x's one with one x some that say rum some that say ale as the kenku bartender looks at you what up be three rum Watch it turns and grabs like three little glasses from underneath and just you know, pours a little tap and just runs them across and it starts placing them down. Ah, uh, two silver. I hand over the two silver and give the other two a rum as well. Keep one for myself and then in primordial to the uh, Kenku, I'll just say. Friend, do I who 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 should I be careful of? So, it looks at you. Uh, watches it, turns, grabs a glass with you, and tings your glass, and then the briefest little look juttons the glass to the wall which would be to its right your north up here and here back guild Where I know it? it oh what are you looking for I, I, I turn to Corby and I say he might be able to help you with your little card thing. That's to Ore Ore, sorry. Did I say you, you're not him? <laughs> sorry, could you repeat that, mate? Uh, so, Corby turns to you and says, This one might be able to help you with your card. The, the Kenku or the one in the room? The Guild the one? The Kenku is the one I spoken to. Uh, uh yeah, I'd, I'd like to um 
lean over the counter. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to go and try and just casually stand up against this wall. Yeah. All right. First off, um, would Aura recognise a Dwerger? Because officially they're deep gnomes. Yeah, would easily be able to identify a distant right. cousin more than anything, but you know. Um, Check out a deep dwarf. Yeah, these are Dwergar deep really? dwarf. Yeah. It's Sver first nibbling other deep gnomes. I'm oh, so shit. surprised that you can see them. Hello, hi. So, as is your ad break, time to pause if you wish, because we're halfway through this session. Once again, we are on coffee and we are on Patreon, and the name is just above here. It's crazy to think that right now I'm recording this at 3 in the morning on the 8th of November and you won't be seeing it until February. <laughs> um, we have no real updates, I'm actually going to be some insight at shorts. I pick the shorts on just how funny they are out of context. I'll record like 10 in one session and then the next day I'll just sit and watch them all. Whatever one's funniest gets taped up and thrown up, so yeah. Now you know, I found them funny. Sort of nibbling, yeah. yeah I'd be sort of nibbling these nuts. Uh, yep. anyway, okay. You'd be aware of them. They're, whilst not common in the upper regions, um, from where you're from, they're a bit more common. I'm going to call them so many slurs. Um, Bro, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to make a new friend. Uh, Kenku, yes, I'll whisper. Uh, um, I'll, I'll um, slide a business card over the counter and be like, um, I'm looking for a potential business partner, if you'd like to take a peek. Um, and on top of the business card, I'll I'll, um, I'll leave a... Yep. Is it the oh, yeah. card? It the is yep. the V card, yes. You kind of watch, you kind of place that down and as it gets, you're going to watch it places its... Sort of glass on it. You know, slides the gold into its palm. And the glass is wet enough, they're gonna pick it up and turns to kind of fill up its glass, pulls the card. You know, looks at you, leans in. Business or pleasure? Strictly business. I am no man for pleasure. You watch as it turns and it's a little bit. downs the shot before immediately turning the glass upside down on the table. It then whistles out this. The, the captain kind of comes up and gives the Kenku a look. The Kenku kind of flips the card round. In its hand, the woman places her hand on your shoulder. Wait, who? What, this little fucking next to me? Yes. Oh, but... Yep. Okay. That's... It's a woman. Yo. I thought it was a name. Yeah, it really don't look like one. It's gonna no. look at you. Come this way. Is that it? She's back to towards the door. Uh... I'm going to assume that they can see me leaving <laughs> in the hopes that if they hear a yelp, they'll come to my rescue. As she does, she misty. looks at you, places her hand on the door. Are you sure you wish to do this? Look, life's full of adventures. I've got my adventures, you've got yours. Oh, beatbox, that's fucking going. on the door. It's a moment oh. later, it unlocks. And uh, that's your own. Um, it's possible as you've got to move forward, the guard holds his hand out across your chest. No further for you. Am I allowed to take in the potential business partner? Or is it just for my eyes only? Strictly your eyes only. Appreciate the honesty, madam. I'll uh, open the door, I suppose. You open the door. You oh see God, sitting at the table a woman with red, hairy, blue eyes, a nice leather jacket, and a sly look on her face. 
Oh. She looks like she's about to hit the baddest vape. Put <laughs> <laughs> a bit of fucking blinker. Bo's absolute yeah. fucking clouds. White woman jump scare. <laughs> um, Should be able to... Trying to go through it, having issues going through it? No, 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 oh. no. Uh, I changed my mind. I thought, I thought you were going to speak something, so I'm not going to move in until she oh. speaks. She looks here. Oh. Someone's <sighs> been talking. Clearly. Enter, if you wish, as you watch, she's gonna places out her left hand and as she can start coming hither, you notice that her ring finger on the left hand is completely void. Oh, just like Assassin's Creed, that's fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll step in, it's, uh, I'm, uh, it's my pleasure, uh, Madam Keen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, would you like me to close the door? Can, for can I? Privacy? He closes the door and... Can you hear it lock from her end as well? Right, that's that what it's Take a seat. Alright. Thank you for your uh, courtesy. I hear you have something for me. Fergal. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Sorry, I, I hear I, you have I, something for me. Fergal talks a bit too much. I'm afraid that the only thing I can truly offer is assistance in my, um, my, um, uh, em employers, my my help, my what the fuck is it called? Services. My my services. Thank you. <laughs> I am good at smithing, but I'm also good at ringing out information and potentially do it physically. Yeah. What have you smithed that would be of my interest? So far, in Baldur's Gate, I've only been able to smith the guard's insignia and certain amulets belonging to certain cults, which I will not indulge you in unless you wish to be informed of the fun. No, we keep ourselves away from the cult. However, you have this insignia that I am more than intrigued for. I will say that currently it is my only one. However, I uh, trust that I am in good company and I'll place it on the table. Gonna you know, takes it and holds it up, looks it to the light. Is this this an original? No. Would you like to know the story of how I got this? I'm just gonna investigate and then you're gonna watch it. Please, enlighten me. Recently I've come into contact with uh, what I assume to be the Flaming Fist. They incorporated upon my uh, surfaces, employed me. Uh, I managed to steal one of their insignias of, of uh, a poor fool. Really, did not notice it until much later, but seemed to believe me when I said that I did not have it on me. Praying to my God, who bestowed upon me the, the wonders of forgery, I managed to create an exact replica. I've used it at the upper gates. It seems to be impeccable since they did not notice any flaw in it. You have my guarantee if. It seems to be flawed. You can take it to me personally and deal with it in your own way. You watch as she stands up. And there was no bloodshed in gaining this. Nope. Although, if you'd prefer, I can shed some blood. Oh no, you have done more than enough. You have done more. Than you could ever truly know. What did you say your name was again? Please, keep this a secret. I don't like others to know, but it's our hour. I like to give out false names, but I uh, trust in, in <laughs> business agreements, so I'll just do it upon you. Okay. What is she laughs and stands up, puts the little thing in an inside pocket and Places a hand on your shoulder. He stands behind you. 
you and I could have a very lucrative business, would you not say? Uh, yes. I also have a, 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 a smoking pipe, if you'd like. I just not noticed. <laughs> I don't mix business and pleasure. However... Oh, understandable. To start with a business transaction, I must ask... What do you believe this item is worth? I cannot have you leave here empty-handed. I would lie, Mrs. There are some things that I'd like to have, but if thou wishes, I'm not going to speak like that. Uh, if you wish, the only payment you could give me is simply an agreement to business. A contact, if you would, perhaps friendship or an acquaintance. With your craftsmanship so beautiful you already have that and we will call upon you again if need be but for now i have something that you may appreciate more than others please let it fucking be <laughs> let it be what no 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 nothing um the, uh uh, uh I, I don't know what i say Perhaps a thank you if I get it. Perhaps a service. You feel the Oh, hands. you already have many of those. You feel her hand come off your shoulder, but this time... Oh, <laughs> I thought, like, come off her arm. <laughs> but this time she <laughs> looks at you a little different. And she does. She... Seductively? Places her hand on the back of your neck instead. And it holds your head directly onto the table. I have something that you may prefer. Uh, is does. it a leash by any chance? You watch as her good? hand comes in from under your other shoulder. As it does, you see all manner of smoke. Where she places something on the table and she does leans in and whispers into your ear. I believe this would be beneficial to both of us. As she does, she lifts off this little black cloth to reveal a black, a blue box with gold insignia and emblazings around it. As this gives off this bright rainbow light, the image has just been posted in the Discord chat. A deck of illusions. Would you like this? I guarantee it's uh, one of a kind. Madam, I'll be up front. I'll accept any gift you give me, whether it's a good one or a bad one. Make a perception That's check. the promise of friendship. A perception. Uh, there we go. Let's fucking, let's go. Back on my, uh, <laughs> back on my combo. <laughs> You can hear this little shh. It's almost like dragging of something in the room. No one else seems to notice it. She looks at you. Like, literally no one else? Like, not even her or the guards? Nope. Everyone seems to be almost enamoured by this box that glows and gleams, giving off this little light in the room. Uh, lady. Yes. Madam. Are you aware of the dragging noise? As if something is cracking? He washes her. He was going to dial it. This is yours. You may use it. I will be in contact with you. Everyone! She kind of whistles, snaps her hand, and kind of walks out to the door, <laughs> opens it, and proceeds to leave. First, we're going to watch as the hoods go up as they walk up the stairs with an immense speed. Jack and Doctor use watches. Three hooded figures seem to walk out, rushed. Uh, give me perception checks, both of you, please. Okay. <laughs> no more reaction to Ori, Ori. <laughs> hey, man. Dude, you smell like a pigsty, I have been, to be fair. Yeah, and you look like one. What the fuck are you talking about, mate? <laughs> Don't come up to me no, trying to roast. Hands. 
Uh, Q's perception check is incoming just now. Uh, I got a fucking four. D and D Beyond still trying to uh, resolve it. Any fucking day now, D and D Beyond, that'd be great. Chris rolled. What, what if I just ate my own ass? Also a four. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really flexible. <laughs> yeah. Is the our team position. Leave the room. The captain kind of looks in. Well, Hello. you're alive. Oh, they all left. Oh, fuck. I wanted to say one more thing to the woman. Well, whatever. Do you tick your box? Uh... Um, I, I'd like to ask Captain, could you all look away for a moment? Yeah, he's gonna and closes the door once more. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the box, that was it. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around in his room. I uh, think I'll be fucking kill old. Uh, Corby, I would say, you know, easy enough for yourself within that time you've managed to open the window of this room. Some people actually kind of relax a little. You can hear one guy harkening off here. Drow harking off something. Not too sure what. Uh, first of all, do you speak Elvish at all? Or under common? Uh... No. Fuck knows what these drow say, but you opening the window, they seem to be a bit more relaxed as a result. Um, what, while them. I'm... Yeah? Oh, sorry. While, I, while I'm here, you know, hopefully gone from any prying eyes, I'd like to ritual cast. Um, Identify? Yeah. Course. Uh, you can whisper it to me. I prefer that actually. Um, I'll just send you a screenshot, mate. Also fine, just like privately. Of course. Yeah, probably open that up without any issues. Um, do you also uh, put it in my inventory, or do I have to do? That uh, it's it's not on uh, it's not on plutonium yet, so. What the fuck are you giving me? <laughs> what did I just take? I am giving you one of the new magic items from the Book of Many Things. Oh no. I actually I think, you to keep I actually think he's going to really love it. It doesn't have a big red button saying do not press on it. It doesn't have a big big red button saying do not press on it at all. <laughs> uh, what, what does this say? Right, I'll read this. You go on ahead. Yep. Let's see... Everyone seems to sort of relax as you open the window and such. You all look round. But apart from that, the drinking, gambling, and debauchery seems to continue. Right. You're doing anything else at the moment, Corby? Uh, at this point in time, Aurora would be still in the room with uh, the guild. I'm just keeping an eye out, waiting for Draken and Rupert to come down. Oh, here's figure, fi figuring that Farcival and I are covering like this sort of deck so far, from where we are. Mm -hmm. I'll move the Jack and Token in. Um, bump, 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 bump. Jack and Token comes in. Gonna follow in the Doctor. Looks nonchalantly. Sits at the bar with the Doctor in front of the Kenku, sitting next to Farcival. As the Kenku kind of looks at you. What will I be? Um, beer, if you have it. And it looks at Let's yourself, see. Jack, and the head kind of cocks to the side a little. Yeah, see, I'll have beer. I'll have some beer as well. And watch it walks over to the far uh, one here with two glasses in hand. Just kind of starts to pour it. You know, watch it <laughs> spitters out at first. The first one, you know, actually pour some of it out because it's like 90% head, the worst type of paint you'll ever have. And it starts mm. pouring out another one. And it gets the heads just about right, flaps, tap, puts them down. Uh, one silver. Sure. Yeah, yeah sure. And while, while we walk around the ship, can I like. Kind of close my eyes as we walk around, focusing on my blind sight to spot invisible creatures. Yep. Uh, ah. You've been walking in, you've not noticed anything invisible. Yeah, gotcha. The Kenku looks at the three of the bar. 
Da. Better along. I'm mostly just keeping uh, like a, a bit of an eye out while I'm, I guess, passively tolerating the drink. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's it's definitely giving you Coors Light vibes. Yeah. I don't know if that's a shit one or not. <laughs> no, Coors Light is nice. I like Coors Light. I just don't like alcohol. <laughs> Forget the pans. The pans that you got. It's gonna flex. Yeah, been her long. Oh, sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, been here long. Mm, pretty long. Not very. Hmm. Yeah. Nods. I'm just gonna get sawed with it. Uh, whoever paid, remove one silver from your sheet. Or both of you remove uh, five copper. How far what are you up to right now? I'm just sort of like sitting down and watching their conversation. I was denied entry, so I'm just sort of like watching everything around them. I'm just kind of like keeping an eye on their conversation and keeping to my own drink. Like, eavesdropping without making it obvious that I'm part of the conversation sort of thing. Corby, anything else? Just I'm keeping you know, a, a, a little out, just listening type thing, yeah. I'd like to do something specific. Um, Alright. Can I step outside and um, Make it divine senses, but focus on the raven. Yeah, that's as you rock on outside. You pop in our divine sense. You stand, you smell the sea air, the smell of rotting seagull. And the smell of burning sulfur coming from about 40 foot high on masts in the crow's nest. Mm. As a paladin, does this mean anything? Like, would I be able to, like, Fiend. know? Or would I know it's the ravens, or would it just be. Something 40 foot high, you focused on the ravens. You make Makes these sense. logical jumps if you wish, mate. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just act like I didn't notice anything and just go back inside and then inform Corby, um, the doctor, um, possible, about what I've just discovered. I kind of head towards the, the ravens being fiends, possibly something to do with the, was it Dabin, Dabin hair? Van Thumper. Van Tamper, I, I kind of... Yeah, Van Tamper, you've actually got it right and I'm getting it wrong. Van Tamper. Uh, if I may ask, uh, uh, I do have something specific I want to hear out. Uh, I want to see if I can hear anyone, I want to see if I can hear anyone talking about or mentioning the Van Tamper. There's... Uh, give me a perception. Sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. Uh, you do hear a few people mentioning the Van Tampers. That's for certain. However, there's more just generalized talk. You know, oh, the Van Tampers have done such good things for the city. I wish the Van Tampers would fix the pipes already. Ah, oh, why has the Van Tampers not done this? You know, all these things. Talks of, uh, you know, the Council of Four and uh, the women whose name I forget, Thalmala or something like that, Van Thumper, off the top of my head. If I may ask then, uh, if, since this is how I'm getting, uh, I was wondering if I could try to recall any information about, so, I, I served a bit of a tenure here, I probably heard of, or at least were in some sort of vicinity of the Van Thumpers, would I know any about, anything about locations they might frequent? Barring the information you've been given that there's someone here, um, most of the time you would reckon, based off the information that you've been given recently, and based off of your historic information, um, 
most of the time they would frequent the upper areas of the city um, because, you know, King Charles doesn't go to McDonald's. Any particular areas in the upper city or was that out of my reach? Councils, churches, other um, other places to do with. Wait a minute. Specific question. Do they have a specific noble house somewhere? They are classed as nobles. Yeah, they have a specific They have their own house. home. Yeah, they have their own house in the upper side. Would I know where that is? Uh, give me history and we'll find out. I can do, and that's kind of all I got, as I'm just going to continue listening after that. Upper West Side. Upper West Side. Thank you. That is all. As we're sitting at this bar, and I've sort of just, like, been sitting here, listening to everything, not really doing anything, do I, like, as I'm listening into other people's conversations and sort of eavesdropping, do I hear anything in particular about specific events? Like, not even just relating to the fan thumpers, but just, like, in general, like, anything that would be considered, like, crucial information. Ah, uh, give me charisma. That's how, that's how this works, apparently, is charisma is the one we use for this, of all things. It's black charisma. Yeah, flat out charisma. You're schmoozing the crowds, you know, trying to just get by and be nonchalant about it, but not stealthily. Um, in terms of recent events, um, barring the obvious, which is on everyone's lips, the uh, sinking of El Terrell, uh, the more specifics you're hearing are about the murders in the bathhouse that um, you may or may not have been a part of. Uh, the slaughter mm -hmm. of one particular um, noble who um, is no longer slaughtered. Weird how that one works out. And let's see the biggest thing really be the I'd say more the fact that the Flaming Fist are actually fucking doing something for a change. That seems mm -hmm. to be the thing that's amazing people the most about this. Flaming Fist, not known for doing an awful lot. This time, their asses are in gear. Something's up. Interesting. Wait, I have a question. Um, yeah. So it's pretty well known that the vamp, vamp and whatever, but I can't even say it. There is pretty well known that they're like evil by us, the party. Yeah. And the guards know it as well. Uh, evil has its skews. Uh, you know, eat the rich and all that jazz. But has anything been, anything been done with Mortlock's statement? No. It's, been 20, it's, it's, it's not even been 24 hours, mate. So no, oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all. As, as the newspaper said, um, key witness detained. Um... Could I quickly? Um, I'd like to approach. Yeah. I don't think she ever gave me a name, but the captain. And uh, I'd like to lead in uh, for your services. I offer mine and hand her a business card. And oh, I'll uh, join my others. Oh, fuck the humans, I'm here. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to dabble with my, my kid. I'm going to sit next to the Dwego. Oh, okay. first I'm going to buy two rum. Uh, all the uh, silver yeah. pieces, and then I'm going to sit next to the Dwego, off the rim of rum. Hello, brother. Nice to meet you. Amora. And, uh, you know, hand in the rum. Try and, try and um, toast, if he's up for it. Lifts it up and clangs it. He does, looks at you. Isn't dwarvish. <laughs> You're a gnome! And you're a dwarf. But how about you cock in? Uh, a free drink's a free drink. Who brings you here? Mine. Oh god, I have to roleplay. Oh fuck. Uh, I know, imagine. No, well, more <laughs> in the sense of I hope I wasn't intruding on Rupert and Jack and Sing. Um, I'm literally just watching and listening. That's all I, Rupert's doing. Oh, I, I thought someone else was was doing something, and I hope I'm not interrupting that. No. All right. In that case, um, uh, what the fuck did this fella say? <laughs> I forgot. What brings you here? 
Oh, what brings me here? Uh, business. Business, mostly. Trying to find ways to realise my goals and Adele's. What brings you into this lovely little creaking bird shit and tavern? Okay. Oh, and he looks round, leans in. Fucking mind flare. This is very funny because the first thing I was contemplating saying as I was sitting down is mind flayers, am I right? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I thought he'd be racially motivated. So I didn't do that in the end. Um, fucking mind flayers. Um, oh, tell me a bit. Wait, actually, first of all, do I know what a mind flayer is? Yeah, they're pretty common in this particular hundred mile oh. stretch in the past three or four years, especially with the incidents in Fandelver. Yeah, but, but keep in mind, I'm not from Baldur's Gate. This is oh, you're, first. you're from further up, so yeah, because by the oh, time okay. by the time this has happened, um, I believe Icewind Dale has passed by three years. So yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Um, um, oh, tell me about them. Never experienced winning person, luckily. But I know what I'd do if I saw them. That's why, <laughs> why we're here, but don't don't go near the door, bastards. Okay. Uh, points okay. off towards the uh, drow who are just gonna sit in there, just stoically drinking. Um, I like to make another arcana check. Do I know? Okay. Do I do, do I know, know that Dwergo can turn invisible? I or does Aura know? Oh fuck, Dwergo can do that. Yeah. They can also enlarge themselves. Oh, uh, I know that part. The invisible part is something I don't think you've ever done in Icewind Dale with Usgark. Um, I have. I have. You, you've seen multiple um, invisible I guess I'm Well, just the whole point of invisible is that you don't see them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> guess I'm just retarded. Uh, mm, nah. Uh, okay. Um, so the Dray are with you. Well. We. Oui. Came from a wee place just uh, up north from part of the Underdark. We left this turning into a right shit show, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, the guild there had. Nah, came here, apparently it was nice and quiet, and then a city just up and vanishes. I'd have been better in Skullport. I'll tell you what, mate. What is your uh, your regular occupation? Not talking about the drow, they leave me cold. I'm talking about you. Me? Yeah. Well, I used to work for a bugbear, but... Uh, turns out the bastard was blind, so... Fucked off and now I'm here. Mercenary for hire. Mercenary. Tell you what, mate. What if I helped you with this little mind flare business thing? Perhaps I can persuade my associates to help as well. I reckon that they don't want to be enslaved, enthralled. And in return, we can hire your services for perhaps a limited time. Perhaps permanently. If you can help me get to Chult, that's good enough. I, I, I want to go somewhere nice and sunny for a change. I want to see this Arakokra thing. A man bird that can fly and speak. I mean, that's uh, so I might be, I, I might be going there. Actually, I, I, I reckon that I might be able to send you there. How so? Pretty telling them all yours. I've had a here and there conversation about guards coming and going to Chult. I've heard the name pass a few times now in shops and. Taverns and uh, whatever the fuck that guards hire you for them. Might be doing a favour for someone else and they might be able to lick you to a boot. I am talking about just you now. Like I said, they leave me cold and I'm not going to try and fish three people into a boat to chill. Fuck you, Drow. I'm in. You got in mind. Here you go, mate. I typically stay at the Allsong Tavern, but 
You can also try and smell me from miles away. I reckon you find me. <laughs> I thought that was me the whole time. It really is, yeah. You smell like ash. You got a business card by any chance? Might be a bit of a collector at this point. It's a business card. Oh, it's a little card with like your name on it, uh, or a, a business if you have one. In your case, it might be. This is a pure guess of your name. Uh, might be Bertholds, Iron, Blade, Mercenaries, something along that. Line. I'm not good at names, mate. Ah, you're close. It's Grifton. Pleasure. Gri Grifted? Grifton. Grifton. I'm gonna. Uh, is that like that? Yes. Grifton. Oh, really? Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Grifton. Let me just. I'll pull out a piece of paper from. Who knows where? Um, business card. Grifton's. Can I see what he's wearing? Like, uh, is he wearing steel or diamond? Or... He's. Just kind of wearing some. That old chain armor in certain places, leather in other parts. It's. Definitely a patchwork of armour for certain. Uh, Grifton's Deep. Deep dark. Horrible it's... with names, but business cards, he's right up there. <laughs> Wait, shut the fuck up. Um, a company with a crude drawing of a, uh, serrated blade. Uh, small blue lettuce business cards reads. Ah, uh, you want to come up with a slogan? Yeah, it looks at you. Fuck water deep. Aye. I can, I can reword that. Yeah. Ranging from the smallest fungi to the biggest. Looks at you intently as you writing stuff. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Um, uh, urban inquiries preferred. Yes. Here you go, mate. Uh, your personal business card. Uh, I tried to reword your fuck water deep, because it might not look very nice for potential hires. Oh, what, can I, what, do you, what do you want from me? What can I do for you? What do you like, what's this? Interaction. What are we doing? What? Services. Just trying to expand the business. If I ever see you again, I might call upon your services. And likewise. Never knew when you might need a little dwarf in need. Alright. If you want, you can accompany us today and we can see how your services match your words. What do you want from me exactly, though? Like. Your hands, your steel, your mind, your tongue, anything you've got to offer. Alright, hey. Right. Ah, he's gonna push us for you, the scraping of the chair is gonna. Everyone looks and he does, he gonna stands up and turns to look at you, and as he does, <laughs> face down on the floor. Me or the Dwegar? The Dwegar. Oh god. Um, being a. Wait uh, a moment. <laughs> Expert alcoholic myself, does this look like this dude is off his fucking knockers? Oh, it might be history. Well, whatever. Uh, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, he is probably going to take a minute or two to get to his feet. He's just moved way too fast. Uh, I can carry you, my brother. Oh, away we go. He's not heavy to that money. I'm trying to see if he was drunk or not. <laughs> Do I have a do I have a second inspiration? That's alright, he's he's light enough. We'll see. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> alright, not expected from a dwarf. Don't worry. Yeah. Does he kinda of watches This dwarf is being carried by a gnome. Canonically a smaller creature carrying a larger creature. It is a sight to see, like a tow truck towing a tow truck. <laughs> Where you see some people emerging from the bottom area. They all look miserable and downtrodden. It's part of my uh, background, by the way. No, I believe so, yeah. They all look and. You know, the Kenku. 
Enjoy! Okay. These people leave. Make a perception check. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I also want to ask, did, it, did I do anything? Oh my fucking god. Perception check everyone as they are, kind of, they walk by kind of all of us. Yeah, you're, oh, your perception's horrible. Drow. Oh, I don't know. Is the dwarf landing anything to look over and just. An utter disdain. Corby, oh, baby. You hear them. The small whisperings from these people. But having a week to pay up. One of them uh, muttering, he'd rather live than be fed to that thing. Whatever it is. You hear oh, one of them I was chewing saying, a cookie, so I have no says, idea what they said. You hear one of them saying, just gonna avoid this place, leave Baldur's Gate. It's not worth it. And they came from up the stairs in the middle? Yeah, the set of descending stairs. Oh, it's ascending? Yeah. Wait, descending for us? Yeah, okay. Descending for you is, yeah. For them, they ascended, for you is used with descent. Okay. I, I try and catch the eye of Rupert and sort of like nod towards the, the stairs. Passives are good enough on that one there. We're going to watch as Corby's hair kind of nonchalantly moves over you. Done enough stealth mission with this man for the day that you are on edge. You know what he's talking about. Even with the giant pillar in the road, you can still see. So the wait, which, stairs. which stairs? Which stairs is he talking about? This one? one? Yeah. Okay, those ones. I was just making sure he wasn't just from for these ones. <laughs> Fuck off! Back outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, you want me to move? Do you want me to move? Mm. Right, I guess. And then no, I can't ask that because. We're gonna say that you can leave that up to your own intuition. Uh, I'll give you a minute to think about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I was gonna ask, can I try to insight Corby for his intent? <laughs> sure. Alright. Let's I see really if like Rupert understands you. social skills. 16. I don't think I'll watch again. Corby thinks you and Jack have come here to try and talk to Amr Grand Thamper. Ah. And he doesn't. Gotcha. He doesn't think that that person's on this level, so he's sort of like motioning to the stairs. Hmm. After what he heard right. from the people who came up there. Gotcha, gotcha. And then. Yeah, should we do anything about the ravens? Uh, I was going to ask about the stairs first, so I'm waiting on Scottish to get back. But, uh... Sorry. Scottish. Uh, yeah, I was almost I... shouting to you, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Uh... I was just gonna ask uh, the king cube tender and say, "Say, what's down the stairs over there? Just another floor?" That's the uh, VIP. It's uh, very much oh. a. We can't stop you going, but you know. Watches. He looks at you a moment. You're gonna hear the voice of the captain coming from it. We'd rather not have anyone interrupting Amric as he does business. Ah. All right. Fair enough. Gives him a nod and. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna like just try to be quiet to j Jack in and actually I'm gonna gesture Jack in to uh follow me. Did I do so? I follow Doctor. Alright. I'm gonna 
stretch my legs a bit. Into this definitely not shady corner. Hmm. <laughs> Even I'm really much uh, wondering what's going on here now. Uh, oh wait, shut Mainly because I want to try to minimize the amount of people who can hear us as possible. Okay. So, anyways, I'm talking to Jack and. All right. Well, we know where the van. We know where. You know who it is. Thank you, so Scott. Want... No you... problem. You've mentioned the things. That... Wait, like out of character. You've mentioned the uh thing, the the crow's nest, right? I just make sure I'm not using out of character. Things. things. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure my player and out of character knowledge are straight. Uh, so, do we want to try heading down and talking, or do we want to try heading up and examining your raven fixation? I mean, with our, with our knowledge about the, the vampires so far, I don't know if the imps are on his side, but they most likely are. So, we could go to him first. We can the MC inside, no? Or are they just watching the outside? Mm. Nothing else has came in. So if something was said to happen inside the like the the ravens wouldn't know. Alright. Can you make that assumption? Well Okay. Well I mean we should toss probably them. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, I almost called you Tarsal. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean, uh, Jackin. <laughs> I'm keeping that in character. Uh, uh, how about you, uh, lead the way then? Uh, I am what you, what people call frailer, frailer than a glass bone. I'd like to make a suggestion, I think. Would you be, while he is down, downstairs being occupied. We could sort out the ravens first. But we don't know if the Van Thumperman's going to be leaving. Van Thumperman's going to be leaving. And I'm sorry to say this, but I believe the Va Van Thumper is more important than some Satan birds. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, out of character. Right. I'm not. A, I'm not on foundry right now, but you could lead the way. And all right. Just, you know. We'll just we'll just say Jackins in front because I am squishy, squishy old doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yarp. Could I? Yarp. Could I in between ask Nate a game question? Of course. According to, uh, don't get me wrong. According to D and D rules, you can mount a creature so long as it's one size larger, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> uh, yeah, according to the Dungeon Master's Guide, page 271, so, you can. In theory, I can make this do my bitch, and then get the mountain equipment <laughs> feature. You'd be half movement at all times. You'd it's worth carrying it. a creature. It's a weapon. <laughs> I just want to uh, make sure. Um, so, if Scottish, if I just look out of the... Um, Porthole. Yeah. Is there another porthole further down, or are there more portholes, or is this the only one? Um, there are some lower down, yes, but you would reckon that's a good 10, 15 foot drop to the next one as you look out. And then just look up at the top, there's nothing like a raven sitting on the edge of the ship looking down at this open porthole, is there? No. No. Okay. I will say it is only about 10 foot between the porthole you look at and the top of the ship floor. Yeah. Just if I had to dive out. As you guys come down these stairs, you take a nice little look at the area. This lounge like area is lit by oil lanterns hanging from the ceiling on one foot chains. The windowless deck contains a bar, couches, coffee tables, and all manner of people. Some clearly counting their last coppers, some rolling in it. People drowning sorrows, 
some just watching the room. I get I got something. Uh I have this feature. Yeah. Uh loyalty test essentially. I can basically take a good look at some folk and assess whether they might be um willing to take a bribe or turn a blind eye and such. Or who might stick to the books, and I'm just trying to get a feel for the room. Or at least what I can see currently. Yeah, you get a look around. Uh, most people here are corrupt individuals in that regard. Thugs, some upper city looking folk, rich in money. There's one person kind of sitting. You see the curl of hair, their head down, kind of looking through their brow and watching the room. Very hard to get a read on this person, however. Wait a minute, I just realized I see something above here. <laughs> yeah? Um... Uh, <laughs> yeah? Am I supposed to be able to see this thing? Yeah? The, the, so what, can, can Rupert try to identify the purple thing he's seeing up ahead? Yeah. Uh... I don't think it's something I would have ever encountered, but... I'll give me religion. Okay, so it's that base. Uh, oh. dildo. That there is a dildo that is used for women to pleasure. I'm joking. Um, yeah, that's the fuck around and find out. You don't know what can that I is, but you reckon this? if you fuck around, you will find out pretty quickly. Do I... Uh, like, I might not be able to recognize the specific kind of creature it is, but do I recognize, like... If it's some sort of fiendish thing, at least. I'm going to use the phrase, fucking look at it. <laughs> like, zoom, I know, I'm just zoom, wondering. zoom all the I way know. in. It's good to be clear. <laughs> oh, wait, how big is it? Um, it is classed as a small creature. But it's also, Noted. I would say it's under like a nice enough bright light that it is it's dominating that area that it's in. Sorry, but what what is it? Um, I think there's a devil, and I whisper to a uh, Jackin. Q, I'll send you as a image because you can also see it as well. I'll send you here on the. There you go. Oh, so, you're talking, ta talking lowly. I'm just gonna while we're walking and talking. Uh, how do we want to handle this? Jackin. Could we? Can I evaluate the room and see every single potential threat there is? Uh, there are, without a shadow of a doubt, four potential threats, including that thing. And there is another person armed, however, as you have walked in, whilst they noticed you, they seem to be burning a hole at the back end of the room. And it's just me and Doctor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Real quick, would the other- if we called for help, hypothetically, would the others be able to hear us? If we yelled loud enough? Yell loud enough for a decent perception check? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be using passives on okay. that one there just, for the obvious. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yep. I, don't know, I don't know how soundproof this rickety boat is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Like I like like I asked, uh, Jerkin, how do you how do we want to go about this? Well, we I don't think I don't think me and you could do it on our own. I'll be honest. Um, but I think if something breaks out, we're gonna need everyone here for it. Probably. Here. Um, how about you go grab one of the others? We, I think we need like at least one more person. I'll, I'll try to keep an eye out from the bar. And as he says that, he'll like return to normal volume and say, "Excuse me. Ah, what's on the tap?" Ah, uh, rum, beer, and. Vodka? 
I'll take one. I'll take a shot of vodka. Mm. And watch it. Puts down a little shot and then grabs the glass bottle and just pours like really quick, like freehand pour all over. No funnel or everything. There's more vodka on the bar, but there's still also a full shot as it looks at you. Silver. I go and get most of all. He's all watches Jangana. He comes up the stairs looking round and he sits down. It basically sits down next to yourself first, but I can't fucking... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Comes up, looks at you, and sits down by the bar and yeah, raises a hand and taps the other. Yeah. Points towards the way he came. Almost like he's keeping a tune. Farcival has moved. <laughs> Well, you are standing there. But yeah, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What's going through your mind? Well, um, Corby was like talking to me earlier, talking about like going down and to back them up later. So, um, I've just been sitting here, sort of, um, waiting for like a cue to go and to, um, give them back up or to like assist them in any way that we can. But other than that, I'm not really doing anything that seems to be like physically or otherwise. Just intently listening. Hear that cue? They're waiting on a cue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show myself <laughs> out. <laughs> well, I, I call up the powers of all. Hey, bad puns are my territory. I'm the killable one. <laughs> I've been unconscious every single session. But, um... <laughs> yeah, so Anyways. Parzival, I think you're going to want to see this. And is Corby here as well? Yeah, well, walks on over to Parzival and says something. Cor Corby's near enough to hear you when you say that, yeah. Alright, hold on. My entire um, headset just shorted out, so can everyone please repeat what they said like a couple seconds ago? Uh, Q has walked up to you. Jacken has walked up to you and said about... Uh, what did you say again, Jacken? Uh, you're going to want to see this and we might need help. That's it. As I head towards Word Doctor as well. And I kind of said to Corby as well. For me. And I make my way back to Doctor. Mm -hmm. And like comes back down the stairs and I'd like pats up at the bar next to you, Doctor. First of all. Uh, no, sorry, I, um, I was just messing with my cords because it's like half broken, so I was just making sure I could hear you. Um, so I'm going to go down to like follow them, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Alright. Bit to here, there's a little wimp up. Ooh, teleport. You walk down as well. You see once more the person is gonna. Eye comes to you, sharp glance before moving back on. You see Doctor slamming vodka at the bar with Jack and just kind of sitting there, looking, you know, kind of looking around anxiously. Gark at this point here, your little dwarven friend standing up. Uh, good. Was I carrying him? He feels well, stirring, up. and then he says in your ear, Hey, I'm good. He, he stands up mm -hmm. in the palms of my hand. Uh, uh what are you, brother? I saw, I saw the other ones going down, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Just making sure, Colby's still here. It's not like Tom is freaking out and, you know. Yeah. All right, in that case, I'll stay here as well then. Uh, I'll just have some lovely chit chat with the Dwego. Uh, I'm not going into specifics. Is the is a de is the purple demon just out in the open? Like everyone's seeing him, he's just chilling. Yeah, that's just chilling. I was I'll say. Why not? What do you water in my inventory? Uh, Tom. Uh, after like fast fast was going back, Kobe's gonna like wait and just wait a couple of minutes and try and get a situation where. Just for a briefest moment, no one's really paying attention to the stairs, and then he's going to try and dart down them. 
Yes, he can. Yeah, um, I've already rolled like a perception check for this entire bar, so like, yeah, um, <laughs> you you beat it. You you could beat it with you could beat it with a nat one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I'm assuming that I see Colby darting down. Yeah. You know, right, in that case, I'll go over. Uh, uh, Griffin, want me to test your metal for the first time? Ah, uh, um, you gonna? Ah, <sighs> uh, you'll do great. I'll take that ah. one. Uh, oh God, the fire's all over again. Uh, I will state right now, he is um, he is very much hammered. So, yeah, he he'll he'll roll straight on attacks right now. Uh, he is hammered. So. This is mostly precaution so that he doesn't get bitten in the ass afterwards. Um, but yeah, Aura is not going to hide it. He's just going to walk down. Uh, I have business with Von Tumper. He'll say to the barman. Um, I don't know if you want me to make a persuasion or a deception because it is true. No, it's got right. business. Just you know, You're physical fine. business. Alright. Sorry, oh, it's the port to hear your little friend. And it looks at you. You have nice eyes. Who's my little friend? What, Griffin? Your are the our friend. Oh shit, I should have told him to shut the fuck up. Well, um... <laughs> uh, gone, he's gone invisible, so like, you know, he's whispering it to you, but it's a... A loud, it's like, you have nice eyes. It's like Carcival parking in your mind. Uh, I'll whisper back to him. Griffin, you have a nice voice. Um, would you mind keeping it quiet for a moment so I can truly appreciate it? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. You just feel his hot breath on your shoulder. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hello, lads. Uh, is that the same barkeep? Different Kenku this time. You can see there's a. Wow. This one wears a. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Is he now? This one has a little bow tie. Do I see Corby in the corner? Is Corby actively trying to hide? Probably. Uh, he's trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. Now, I would say because you're looking out for your party, you do see him, but you can see that he's trying to be that cool, calm, and collected. As you both come down the stairs, you've noticed once again that one person, the curled up hair, kind of looks down as you pass by before immediately burning a hole back at the north end of the ship. As it does, you see a man sitting there, a despicable looking, mischievous. Um, you can you can think of other words. I have very colourful words I'll use, but you know, uh, I think you've all heard the c word long enough. Bastard, stinky man. As he sits there with a pouch of gold, counting a small box on his shoulder at the part of this uh, couch. You see the weird creature. At this point, we're all here, so this. Ooh, and then that actually looks really cool. Whispering. I agree. Yeah. Ooh, looking so round cool. and him looking back and saying stuff. You watch as other thugs seem to sit there very brazenly with like knives, daggers, swords and such in their hands looking round. One bar, one sitting at the bar there seems to be nursing a paint. However, you can tell that this has been a very long nursed paint. You can see the stages of where the head has come down from each drink. Very small increments. And there's no longer a head on this beer. Um, what I would like to, um, very uh, subtly, uh, move to Corby. Do you like the, you know, like the thumbs up, but then, you know, like you point to a place. Uh, point towards the coach uh, and kind of look questioningly. Uh, I'll, I'll try and do it stealthily. Just in case. I fucking hope Colby can see it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that obscures his vision. 
Well, it's, uh, how small uh, is Corby? <laughs> I try and do this healthily, so you know you might miss it. Um, but yeah, waiting expectantly for an answer or something like a sign or whatever. Is there a bar here? You're setting at it. <laughs> and I and I got a shot of vodka and an empty shot glass. God. Ah. Uh -huh. Now watch as it places down two shot glasses and kind of. Just gonna fills one little bit, says drop it, get into the other one in it. Why, why did the why happen. did the Kenku drink the fucking shot? <laughs> <laughs> Kenku Is drinks his shot and pours another one and hands it to him. <laughs> <laughs> no one notices. I'm gonna fill in. I'm gonna fill up the empty shot glass with holy water, and I'm gonna make my way over to the purple demon. Oh God! Oh, he's taking a lead. Oh, that's uh, gonna be lovely. I guess I'm gonna look to Tartus as well as Jack and gets up and say, well, I guess it's sugar. <laughs> as Jack and is making moves. I love I love how you're the plan guard and it's immediately just Hey, you know, uh Schmeagol Beagle, I'll take a seat at a table, didn't get a sign, he can go fuck himself. Uh uh all the <laughs> two glasses are run, please. What? Whoop whoop. Would you would you like to see a magic trick for one gold please? I walk as it looks up and the guard sitting next to you just nods his head. Ah, oh, no. Once over. Jack and as you. What, once, wait, one silver for the drink or one silver for the magic trick? One silver for the drinks doesn't want to see the magic trick. Oh, okay, okay. Jack and as you kind of walk up, the guard thug kind of places his arm out and and grabs hold of you. Zah. You've got business with the boss. I got business with that devil. I want to challenge him to a game. A drinking game. Oh my god. And he immediately throws you backwards. Give me a strength save just to be safe, mate. Okay, thanks. Is it a check? Or <sighs> save? save Corby Stealth. I think that was a check. Let me read it. Uh, it says check. It's a three. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, so the number is the same regardless. As he yeah. kind of pushes you and you can fall glasses all over. Is he going to walks up to you and towers over you? Devils don't drink. Stay down. Moves back up to where he was, holding the dagger in hand. Corby, you're gonna move up onto here and take a look. You see two people enamored in their game. There are four cards sitting face down on the table, one face up, each of them with two cards in hand. Person closest to you, huge pile of gold on one side, the other one, few coppers. Yep. Um, does it look like um, it's water deep holder? Uh, yeah. Let, 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 I'm assuming you're thinking, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I, I met a game in here a little bit, but I'm also assuming Aura saw it. You like did to, walk past it, so yeah. I, I, I'd like to ask if I can join. I, I forgot who else saw it, but. Um, yeah. I'll nudge him and say, like, hey, you can join as well, if you'd like. Yeah. I forgot who it was. I'm hoping it was Reaper. They do. I, I, I'm trying to... Well, I was going to go head up, but then oh. Jack and did something I wasn't expecting. Jack I was just kind of waiting like for them. Prone. Jack oh. was here and, like, prone five foot away. Proper. I'm going to try and gamble. I stand up. Oh shit, did I study them? I think I did. It's the person looks at you. Bayern is. 10 gold, friend. Alright. <laughs> Little too high for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just take a random number. Probably just gonna look up here this one. Watch as gonna... here's it and moves back. Doctor starts to move up the deck. 
the man at the back, tossing a coin between his fingers. Where's... I, I swear, you are so good at hiding. There we go. First of all. <laughs> what do you mean hiding? They're right there. Yeah, he's right in the just, middle of the room. They're the only one with white in their token that I can see, and I just always lose track of them because I'm looking for red. Everything here is a shade of red. <laughs> You're Come fucked up. Uh, tell us about how good are you with people? I'm decent. Good. Uh, please help me if I start to fumble. <laughs> Bedside manner is it my strong suit. Jack stands up, dusts himself okay. off. I am not going to associate with these motherfuckers. As uh, I'm going to. Uh, uh, approach this thug and like uh, give her like a a dismissive look at the the man who was just on the ground covered in his own drink for effect. So like uh, lightly shoving past just to prove a point. Uh, one second. Do the man watches? Uh, Jack. Uh, how do I whisper? Uh, to Again. me. Just... Yes. Uh, you can go to the box in the bottom right hand side, you'll see my name at Scottish GM. Right click, you can open up a whisper box. Gotcha. Just, just type slash W. If you whisper to GM, it can also go to the laptop as well. And I've only got that so I can touch up with certain things. Arsenal is really so awkward and yet he has like the highest charisma stat I've ever seen. I mean, charisma isn't just... You know, like Tolkien. I know, but still. I think the best at Tolkien here is... It's the guard. Thug kind of places himself out as you're going to walk up. It's your business. I'm interested in doing business with Van... With, 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 yeah, sorry, that's out of character stumbling. With uh, Mr. Van Thamper. And what does your business entail? Well, uh, real quick, is it? I'm trying to think. What would be? Well, I need. Let's say I need materials for something important that I think he would be able to provide. What did he? Turns to look at the post and. You... He watches the hand makes a few signs. He leans in to the devil. Beckons you forth. And guard kind of My friend turns. Oh sorry, good. When you go. My friend will be accompanying me. Is that alright? Which one's your friend? He he juts a thumb towards uh towards the Looks back. And he just shrugs. On you go. Cause no trouble. Be no trouble. And you'll get on just fine. I give him a nod and head forward. Uh, so, uh... You do. You see the man, and believe me, I've, I've been sat here for so long just thinking about how this man would talk and I was so tempted to have him come in and go hello Habibi but no <laughs> See, looks at you hello yeah. how can I help you take a seat please um. I know this seems a bit paranoid, but given who we're dealing with, is there anything wrong with these seats? <laughs> also, we're gonna sit down on the seat. A well-used couch. Not oh. plumped in any way, but you know, definitely many a business deal have been conducted here. You know, if I get Tarsal sat, I'll sit too. <laughs> and, uh... So... I am correct, you are one of the Van Tappers, correct? Maybe. What's the toya? Hmm. 
I heard you would... I heard through the grapevine that maybe you can acquire some not so on the table um, materials and items. Maybe stuff churches and the law might frown upon. You seem to hear a lot of things. I have not those connections. I have money. Lots of money. Which is a prelude to materials I need to acquire. And you can get your materials, but I, I can give you money. Yes, that's what I'm interested in. Would you be interested in developing connections? Or rather, information? Mm. Yes. Yeah. But. Well. Hmm? Sorry, I cut you off. That's right, you're gonna place a hand, scooches his side a little, looks in his back pocket, and he's gonna pull out a small notepad and places it on the table. Go on. Well, you see, my friend here, he comes bringing all sorts of information from his specialties, his studies, and anything of quite the sort, but if I will tell you, the secrets that I hold come from the very bellows of the candle keep. Things that have not escaped those walls for longer than centuries, and things I have held confidential with him, and that I may hold confidential with you. Watch as he's gonna start stroking the goatee. Before he kinda leans in to the devil and covers his mouth and you can hear him whispering. Whispering in not common, but infernal. Oh, never mind. Then I wouldn't understand it even if I did hurt it. You mean a perception check to guess or potentially hear. Get not, not you. First of all, you, you to you it sounds like yeah. First of all, it's like ah yes, the weather today is thirty-two degrees Celsius, the chance of rain. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask my guess, guess some intent behind the words. Like you could try, but it'd be very know, high in, for that one there. You yes. said perception. Sometimes yeah. tone can give it away. Oh, sorry, yeah. And then fuck it, I'll give it a shot. Would that be insight or perception? I'll give you just it's flat it's... wisdom because it's a bit of both. Alright. But This man's speaking moon runes. God knows what he's saying. As the... He said him... something about my mother. <laughs> you hear him say... This could have... Grave... Oh, great... Consequences. Watch the spine double puts its head down. He watches. I'm like, sort of nodding away. Yes, well. I'll get back to you. You, and kind of points to yourself, Rupert. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a contract. You need money. I have money. Mm -hmm. How much you need? Allow me to discuss with my partner real quick. We need to assess. And I'm gonna whisper to Tarsifal. What 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 amount do I have for? Fucking what? What did you just say? <laughs> I he, he's whispering to Tarsifal, what amount should I ask for? Oh my god, I wish fucking order was here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 I'll just, um, I'll use an awakened mind and just, um, and sort of respond just quietly and just be with, just tell him that whatever you want cannot be paid for in money. Mm. Rupert sort of nods, gives a shrug and said, hmm, oh. well, money's all you can provide, I'm not sure. 
not all we want can be purchased with money. Kind of watches his face contorts for a moment. First of all, you hear in your mind. I can do that too, you know. The spine devil draws its eye to you. This Amric contorts. Yeah, how can... If it can't be bought with money, how can I get you it? Explain that one, please. Is he speaking to me, or is he speaking to Rupert? He's speaking to Rupert. I think he's speaking to both of us. I mean, we're both in on this, so... Well... Um... Fuck it, I'm gonna just ball with it. Uh, he gestures to the devil. Clearly you have some sort of connections that maybe we could tap into. You watch the smiles. That's for the good friends. You are not the good friends. You are Drinkers. perspective. He picks up a drink and my apology, would you you know gestures towards the bottles? I'm afraid I don't... I'm afraid I partake in enough for this night. Uh, is well, there a way... Like, can you, like, see, like, what's in them? Like, is... Can I check to see if they're, like, tainted or whatever? Or... There are empty bottles. He's offering to get a bottle for the table. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Then I am... Like, a, like, a curt, like, nod in agreement. He watches he looks over at the bar. Z. Main devil looks as well. He raises his hand. Holds up three fingers. And kinda pours. Kenko looks. Ah. Kinda goes under. Use at the bar. You hear the rattling. Watches it. Pulls out two bottles and takes a look at them. Both of them basically the same. Shakes them and inspects them before putting one down and you kind know, of walks over to the table. You know, pulls out a little short shortage, boom, knocks the top of the bottle clean off. You know, pours into three glasses. You know, places it down. What is the item you're looking for the most? Is he? Picks up the glass and leans in intently. Uh, please say a plus one shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued with, uh, knowledge of, uh, questionable, um, sorts. Particularly related to new inventive ways of medicine, but really I'll take just about any, um, arcane knowledge not Easily acquired. See, looks at you. Your your friend has knowledge. You should speak with them. Not the kind of knowledge I, as he again like this is to the devil. But I can see. Let's. How about this? Is there anything the Van Thampers need done? We have a handle on everything. Um, I just sort of lean forward and just... You have to see, I'm a scholar. I do research on the things that humanity and all related cannot understand. You... I lived in Candlekeep for many of my years. It was only within recent times that I have found myself broken from the shackles of that library. I know countless eons of knowledge that many people would not even begin to grasp, but nowhere to apply it. I am looking for a solution to the answers 
I am looking for the solutions and answers to questions that I have asked for years. Or perhaps the questions to answers that I already know. I need to find... How do I say? The substance to the things I've read. I need to find the answers to the things that I have been reading on pages and never in between my own fingertips. And again, only good friends get that particular information. You watch he's gonna take his other glass, gonna hold it and gonna decants it. Basically he just turns it upside down into his other glass. Swirls it and just down in one. Straight chugging. How does one become good friends with a man such as yourself? Pay back your loans on time. Simple. So, we request funding for what we need. We simply just need to pay it back, is what I'm understanding. Yes. That's all we need, or you could do me a very particular favor. Rupert would cock a brow up and, like, sort of, like, lean in a bit, ha head over, like, hands and stuff, like, like, thinking pose, I guess. What would that favor entail? Look, friend. Things in. I need a certain someone. You say you take a life. Wouldn't be the first. Hmm. I mean, Fair. I do have new equipment that needs test field testing. I need you to kill a certain man. He's a tall man, powerful, but slow, stupid. A plague on Baldur's Gate. An oxygen thief! His very existence, every breath he draws, Pains me. Would you do me this pleasantry? <laughs> I don't see it right now. It's not as if we are a stranger to bloodshed. And it's not anyone pulls out his bumble pick and writes something and. Passes it across the table. Good luck. Uh, I guess. Is he gonna let us like take the book and keep it, or do we? Are we just supposed to read? Taking a bit of paper, it? fold, written something, fold, fold, pass the square across, lean back, mm -hmm. and said good luck. Gotcha. Uh, but I just like grab it and sort of like I open like this little like little booklet thing or like this little pouch of you could see like. Not, not, the, like, the little, like, study book, and I just, like, slide it in between one of the pages that is clearly, like, bookmarked and annotated to hell and back, um, and I just sort of, like, put it away. I miss... Yep. So will we be meeting you here to inform you of completion, or yep. will you know when we're done? Both. I give him a nod, and look at Thomas Paul. I believe we're finished here. Indeed. Well, you get to finish your drinks. I got this bottle just for us. So please enjoy. Can I, like, like pick up the bottle and, like, looking at it? Can I, like, appraise it, considering, yep. A, I have alchemist supplies and I'm proficient? Yeah, you can appraise the bottle. You yeah, know, what it's worth. Well, I meant, like, appraise as in, like, has this liquid been tampered with? That's brewer's tools. Really? Not alchemists? Yep. Brewers. Alchemist tells you this. Like... Alchemist lets you neutralize poison, 
or acid and also lets you know what certain things are. Brewer's tools let you detect poison and neutralize poison. If only so okay. Uh, well, Ori or wanted to stay at the bar. I would ask him to come with. <laughs> Anyways, uh, is there a way to like subtly like like if, if in the off chance it is poison, is there um, a way to like subtly neutralize it? <laughs> Not without no, knowing it's poison. Yeah. Also, it takes one hour, so. Oh, oh. To, to use. I didn't, I didn't see support. that. Wait, I think it stays out at least. Does it? Uh, okay, investigation. There's nothing here about time. Oh. You still technically need to know it's poison to neutralize it, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, I would have to know what it is, too. I'm so trying to think of, like, acids again, like... and the things used to neutralize acids, but uh, is vinegar one of them? No, baking powder. Ah, yeah, if you throw baking powder in acid, you know it's acid, but if you throw it in water, I think it still yeah, foams, but it doesn't smell. Oh, fuck it. If it's poison, it's poison. Fuck it. We at least, like, look at it for, like, color changes or fizz or cloudiness, that sort of thing. Did he clearly drink the bottle? Like, drink the same thing? Yep. He had a glass. He chugged his glass. Fuck it. Uh, fuck it, we ball with B-A-A-L. <laughs> B-A-A-L, we ballin'. You forgot the, uh, the H. Yeah, I know the H. I forgot it. Fuck it, Rupert just shrugs and chugs it. Muscle so just watches him chug it and, like, does... waits for something terrible to happen. Yeah, does he explode? It's the con save. Uh, Con save. Yeah. See if you get drunk. Right. Or die. Uh, oh, saving okay. throw. Eleven. Very strong, strong drink for certain. Definitely starts to feel in your stomach. Very powerful. Very potent. The book says go here. I need to just open up something else because. Mm. That's how it goes. I, I will say this, I will have to be going soon. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, ha, 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 Just so you are, yeah. One. Roll D5. Uh, which one? Slash R1 D5. One. Oh boy. Did I get petrified? <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna feel this hit you. You take six poison damage. I'm just gonna convulse for a moment. As you do, you can feel it. Zamra kind of looks at you. Are you okay? No. I've had a lot tonight. Clearly. Do enjoy. I will speak with you soon. And we'll see you too soon as well. And Rupert will get up. Like I like to imagine there's like just that little bit of blood in like the corner of his mouth from the drink. Because <laughs> he got it up a little and like straight away. <laughs> I bid you a good night, sir. Yeah, I'm the scars in it. Mm -hmm. Just make your way back towards the bar. I'm gonna, gonna head over to Corby. <laughs> sort of around the corner and then. Yep. Uh, gonna like whisper to Corby. We got what I believe we got what we needed. Also, <clears throat> I cool. think I might I might be tasting my own blood. Cool. <clears throat> I stand up. And <laughs> look over the shoulder of the card player there, and I say, "Oh, that looks like it's a marked card." And then walk off. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Guy flies over the table and just starts fucking beating on the guy. <laughs> it's 
guards uh, can do it. No one does a fucking thing. Uh, wait, I want to come over. So Who's the guards? Who? The guards don't respond. Interesting. They're hired thug. I'd um, give that away. I, I'd like to uh, just grab some of the gold. Ah, uh, roll slight hand. Fuck it. There's gold all over oh, the floor. Um, I'm not trying to hide it. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, I guess I do try and hide it. I, in that, managed to pick up 29 gold and one platinum piece. Um, I'm gonna roll oh, something uh, for Grifton. Alright, never mind. I was gonna see if he, he picked up on the whole idea of just yanking the gold. And, uh, I'll just go good on you. Walk off. First of all, I hate talking to people so much. Oh, bother fucking cry about it. I do as well, but you know what? You get used to it. How do you think I, I feel? I appreciate your Wait. higher fortitude when it comes to social events. Uh, Kirby. Mm -hmm. This is Grifton. He's with us. Uh, does not speak common though, so if you want to talk to him, talk to me. I feel like we're forgetting someone. Uh, yeah, I no, I mean, oh. I'm gonna make the joke of, hey, if it's not important, it's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask for the captain's name? I, gave uh, I did I did give it as well, I'm gonna say I do apologize, I must have missed that for you then, mate. Uh, name was began with an L. Leandra. Can I, can I ask her if she has a business card? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughing> <laughs> this is now your thing. It is, yeah. I'm trying to build up a network, mate. Uh, oh, there we go. Lar e Layerla Lima Alpha Romeo Alpha Echo Lima Romeo Alpha. Brother, just act like a fucking normal human being. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Booey. D does she have um, a business card? I'll ask her. Uh, no, I just run this place. Everybody knows me. Uh, would you like me to create you a business card so we can stay in contact? You can come here any time, we don't need to stay in contact like that. Uh, well, so we walk away, and my legs are tired and old. Might not be <laughs> here for her. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Is that a promise, my love? <laughs> you said it so romantically. <laughs> I'd assume you'd be coming on to me. I'm married. That's alright, we can work with that. <laughs> Why have you done this campaign twice? What? what? Why is people trying to like, riz up married people happen twice? <laughs> Who was the other one? You again, I Me. think. Oh. 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 You then <laughs> killed the person she is trying to chat up. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, dude, fucking he asked me to, yeah. Alright, well, uh, if you ever divorce, you know, you got, business, you got my business card. Anyway. Um, before we leave, uh, Corby will go over to the bartender at the top, on the top thing, and slide over some money. Um, and then in, like, or in primordial, just say to him, it's rare that I see fellow Kenku. My name is Corby. This guy has a name. I know he does. <laughs> His name is Greg. Uh, no, his name is Archimedes. No, it just straight says to a bard and just kind of looks at you. Oh. Bowie. Is his first name David? And I just say a little something for you and your friend downstairs. Same. And I hand over eight. I slide over eight gold to him. And he looks and looks around and just kind of slides it to and then like kind of hands you it over a copper. Enjoy! 
He tries to make oh. it look almost like a business transaction has happened. Yeah. Um, S Scott, is that how you write liar? Liar? Or, uh, yeah, you're struggling with it too. Um, Lar, Lara, Elra, Lara, Elra. Can you just, can you just fucking write it? <laughs> Lara Croft. Okay, thank you. Larelia. Cool. I uh, made a business card for her. Lara, Lara. <laughs> the reason for these business cards is both networking and because. My amnesia. Because uh, <laughs> otherwise I'd forget half of these people. Yeah. So you just give him that, he gives you that. You trade business cards with the woman and you head back outside into the fog-ridden harbour. Uh, Horn the one. Mm. What? Uh, this Pardon? is our new buddy. You can call him a pet. that does not speak Cohen, so... You speak Dwarvish. Run the again. It kind of looks me? at you. <laughs> oh, the pet <butt> thing! <laughs> well, excuse the smiling gauntlets. He hasn't a clue what's been said, but it's like. Uh, uh. At least this one seems happy to be here. Yeah, I've, I, I feed him well. Ah, uh, but if you ever need his services, talk to me. I'll, uh, I'll make him bend. Uh, I'm really uh, concerned that you. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's, I'll keep that in mind. And he just sort of like nods like hastily with like a like a like a like a sort of con I'm trying to ex like explain the sort of expression, just like the uh huh, okay. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Uh, I'll t I'll turn to what Grifton and say in Dorish. Uh, wanted to ask her if uh, you know if if she fancies you. So that's your answer. Not not romantically. Not like you know like. Whatever, mate. <laughs> you I'm, just... deeply con I'm deeply concerned you view people as pets. It's, it's not even that. It's the fact that he doesn't know the gender of Farcival. How old is Farcival? I feel like I keep switching between he, they, and, and she. Roll for Farcival. Roll for Farcival. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Gonna, well, uh, how are you feeling today? Looks up at ya. <laughs> I could go another drink. Wait, Griffin says that. Yep. Uh, we'll have a drink another time. We're going to a tavern. You can have a drink there. It's on me. Yes. I've paid for all your drinks so far. It fucking falls off the banister. <laughs> fucking <laughs> drowns. Tarsifal, oh. do you like wine? Oh, sorry, good. Uh, I was going to ask what Corby's up to. Oh, okay. He's training after the others. Oh. But I, I made sure to, to check on the crow's nest to see if the raven's still there. Oh, is this because you're still in the bar? I was yeah, I haven't left. Oh, you haven't left? No, just uh, physically haven't actually left yet. So. That's right. As we're sort of walking, I'm just going to say Tarsifal. Tarsifal! Do you like wine? I tend to prefer it over other forms of alcohol. I per I suppose. Why? Good, good, because I'm I'm gonna be needing. So I'm gonna need someone else to drink all this wine. As he <laughs> starts d twisting some runes on his alchemy jug to make it generate wine. Could you uh, generate me some mayonnaise? I could really use it in these strong times. <laughs> yeah. Just leave the just lantern. The crows, oh, cr ravens. Oh, Corby, do you also want some wine? Oh, sorry, nope. sorry. <laughs> the ravens still cawing. The seagulls still flying. Harbors quiet, but you've got a direction. You've got something. You've met Amric. You've also been poisoned by Amric. Oh, you saved that one. Uh, worms <laughs> poison, I believe it was. Uh, the assassin's blood, quite literally. Uh, <laughs> you, you beat the DC by one. Oh wow! Yeah. You can uh, you can see as you walk off the boat. You can see like a like a little like sh like you can see a very almost unnoticeable shiver sort of like run down Percival's body, but he doesn't seem to react much other than that. You hear the cawing of the birds once more. He's gonna watch his one immediately. <laughs> flies off. God, I don't want to eat them. Which direction does it fly off? 
there's a gold question that is, I believe, from here. Do the math. Technical. Oh, there we are. I opened up on the right page first time. Woo! Uh, technically speaking, northwest from your current oh. location. As from your current location. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, northwest. It's kind of in the direction of the elf song, isn't it? That's straight north. Is it? Yep. Oh, we're over there. Never mind then. So let me, uh. You are. Oh, where are we? Here. And the birdie oh. threw off this direction. And north is technically that oh, direction. Okay. 